Today we're going to take a look at all the many different ways you can make stupid amounts of money. We're talking numbers so big you can't even see the end. I've had enough caffeine to kill a horse. Let's make some money. And it all starts with squeezing a lemon again and again and again and again and again and again and Four dollars each. But then I can reinvest my earnings into buying more lemons which gives me more lemons per squeeze. We're up to five dollars per click. Which unlocked his newspaper delivery. I'm going to buy as many lemons as I can right now and each one we buy is going to cost more and more money but it's going to be worth the investment. Because already we're up to $16 per click and look at that money go up. I didn't even notice things like the oil company for $25 billion. We're gonna make so much money. And apparently we just unlocked something else for spending all that money on lemons so now it goes twice as quick. So we're now making much much more money. There we go. Look at that. We're up to $300 already. And this is why it's good to have an auto clicker. There's a thousand dollars. I can just sit here and wait. Oh, we can hire a manager to do it. As much as I love torturing myself, we're going to make it a little easier. I replaced my auto clicker with a person. This is great. But the auto clicker does never whine and we don't have to feed it. And also, I'm still very much going to torture myself today. Let's reinvest it all in the lemonade stand. Now it has turned into an ever-moving line, but we're making so much money just off of lemonade so far. We haven't even got the second or third thing. And it looks like the more times we use all of the things, the faster they're going to work for us. And if we get very, very rich later, we can buy the moon for $100 trillion. And considering we've already made $25,000 off of just a lemonade stand, I think we're going to get there. So let's reinvest $30,000 into lemonade and watch the money go up. There's $2,000, $3,000. We can afford pizza delivery. We're maybe going to start a newspaper delivery because between the two of these, that'll be easy money. I'm already making more money than I can even spend on newspapers so far. We're going to need a lot of upgrades, so auto clicker to the rescue. The newspaper manager costs $15,000, so that's going to take like... 15 seconds? No wonder these guys are always so happy. Look how much money they make. I looked away for 10 seconds and we're up to $30,000. Let's get a newspaper manager. I just realized we have a lemonade manager. Imagine that being your job in life, you manage a lemonade business. But upgrades here are also very expensive. These cost $4,000 each, $5,000 each, $6,000. But we've just doubled the speed of lemonade stand profits for getting them all the way to level 100. This one probably needs to hit level 50 before it gets its upgrade. Already upgrades are costing $25,000 each. Now they're $32,000. But I'm committed to turning this into 50. I don't really know why, but we're going to do it. That could basically be the summary of my entire existence. And if we restart our business, we get an extra bonus. So prestiging is an option, but given that we're uh, two businesses in, we're not going to do it just yet. There is level 50 for the newspaper business, and we got an offer that we're not going to take. Eat a newspaper business times two. There we go. Look at that money go up. It's like $10,000 every two seconds, which probably means we should buy another 26 upgrades for the lemonade stand. Mostly just because we can. All this money really makes me want another coffee. Speaking of which, why is there no coffee shop option? Everyone knows that's a license to print money. Okay, these are going to get a lot slower than I thought. I was expecting light speed lemons like this, but every time I click, that's a lot of waiting. How much for the manager? Uh, runs car washes for $100,000. You can have that disaster, my friend. That's all you. And I can afford a lemonade upgrade for $250,000. I don't know how much money I have, but that sounds good to me. I wonder if I can hurt my computer just making numbers get bigger at a stupid rate. Anyways, we need to see a little bit more speed out of whatever this thing is. Look at that money fly. Speed of car wash profits times two. It's definitely slow, but every time it touches down, we get a big burst of money because that adds basically 10% right now. And I'm going to make a new rule that I'm not going to buy the next business until I can afford the next manager because I don't really want to click anything myself. Mama Sean, we're buying you and we don't even own the business yet. Pizza delivery costs $8,640. So I'm going to spend $611,000 on it. And boy, is it ever slow. We're only level 21. But it's going to get us a lot of money every time it touches down. $90,000 just for making that bar go by. Though so already we're up to $650,000 again. So let's throw another million dollars or so into the newspaper business, which only got it eight levels. Right, I'm maybe going to do the car wash next because I kind of want that to hit level 50. So even though we're making money at a stupid rate already, it's still going to take a long time to get any of these upgrades. We can afford a shrimp boat though, but the shrimp are going to have to wait. I'm going to buy the donut shop first and I need to make sure I can afford a donut manager. Jim Thornton. 1.2 million. I'm going to buy you again before the business itself. Then we start enrolling. That makes me 155,000 per tick. Actually, my next upgrade is going to be this one because that's going to hit 25 and that should double its speed. There we go. The money's going faster than ever before. Look at these fun numbers. Admiral Snack Bar can make the shrimp boats 99.999% cheaper or 750 octo trigantillion. Are these even real numbers? I hope they are. We're going to get there eventually. While we were admiring the good Admiral Snack Bar, we've made enough money to get my car wash up to level 50. 
which means it's gonna go even faster now. $28,000 every tip. Realistically, we're making so much money already that I'm gonna leave this on the buy max option. That way, every time we buy something, we invest all of our money in it. Like the donut shop. That went up to level 18 already, but look at the money it's gonna make us. Basically a million dollars every this much. I think I also wanna buy 38 lemonade upgrades to hit 150 because that's not gonna be a bonus at all. Never mind. And that's really not a big deal because we've already made our money back. There's four million dollars already. We're gonna get numbers all the way across the screen soon. Just waiting on time seven for the donut shop. And that alone is gonna cost us almost $10 million, but it's worth it. The shrimp boat costs two and a half million dollars, so the manager is probably pretty expensive. Forrest Trump. $10 million. Look at all of these upgrades though. Car wash profits times three for a million dollars. Yes, please. That one for $5 million. Apparently we have that. And this one for $500,000. So we're up to about $100,000 every second, which seems like quite a lot, but that also makes me really excited for where we're going. I don't know what's so satisfying about just sitting here watching numbers get bigger, but it is. Boris Trump, $10 million, you're mine. And you don't even have a boat yet. So I guess we should probably get him one of those. That's going to give me 3.11 per uh, click. It's a very slow, but very profitable. Level 8 already. We'll see if we can hit level 10. It's already going to give us 5 million per tick. Level 10 didn't give us a bonus. I guess we'll have to just settle for $6.8 million per minute. A few short minutes and $37 million later, we can afford some new upgrades. Let's fix our shrimp boat up for $25 million. Plus a donut shop for another 10. So now this is going to get us $20 million per tick. Even the donut shop is up to 4 million. And we finally have enough to buy a hockey team whose manager costs a modest 111 million. Might have to buy some new upgrades before we're going to get a hold of that. Actually, we can afford enough for 55 million to put the pizza up to level 50, which is going to make profits times two. And that's worth it. Every time we invest a bit of money, this means we make more and more money quicker. Just like in real life. But instead of actually investing my money, I invest all my time I'm into playing games like this for some reason. But one day I will have a monocle. That didn't take any time at all. We have 170 million, which means we're gonna buy Don Sherry for 111 million. Then we should probably also buy him a hockey team to manage. Then we get warps, which use a time warp to get us instant profit, apparently. Here are a couple on the house. Thank you, but I'm gonna save those for when we're really making money. And yeah, that does seem a bit ridiculous when we're making a million dollars every few seconds, but I'm a ridiculous kind of person. The hockey team does take a full six minutes and change but it's going to get us 22 million every time it does. That's actually pretty slow. We're going to need a few upgrades to get that making money. It would definitely be fun to have something like the newspaper that's that fast making a stupid amount of money. $10,000 per this thing is pretty good. We can do better. So let's drop it 114 million on a little upgrade. Now it makes $16,000 so it's already making over 50% more money. And then it's only 10 levels away from its next upgrade which will only take like $100 trillion. I just realized that maybe before I spent uh, a whole whole bunch of money on newspaper upgrades, I could upgrade my shrimp boat because that will hit a new level for $134 million. Now it goes twice as fast. And every time it touches down at its super speed, we get $50 million out of the deal. Do you think this would be worth the investment? If we upgraded this seven times for 188 million just before it touches down. I'm thinking probably not, so we're maybe gonna do it. I'll wait till there's five seconds left and we're gonna see if we make our money back. I accidentally clicked that with 45 seconds left, but that only earns us about 70 million extra, which sounds like a lot, but it's not worth it for the amount of time. So it's back to the waiting game. We'll get our donut shop to level 50. And as we get 48 million from our shrimp boat, we can upgrade our donut shop all the way for 228 million. But that means it's two times the profit now. I think this is our single most profitable item now because that's $8 million every time it touches down, which only takes a total of four seconds. The next manager for the movie studios, Stefani Spielberger, costs $555 million, which is still more than we have. But we're going to need to upgrade some other things first, like our newspapers to level 100. $350 million upgrade, but look how quick that goes. $18,000 every one of those things. I kind of want to upgrade our donut shop because it's already giving us $8 million per 4 seconds, so if we do that we're getting $8.5 million per 4 seconds, $8.7 million. I feel like this is going to make us pretty rich pretty quick. Correction, it is 8.7 per 5 seconds, because 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, it waits a second after it hits 0. Clearly this game thinks I have a lot of time on my hands. Anyways, the movie studio is going to be 180 plus 550 for about 3 quarters of a billion dollars, so we're going to wait for that. Just kidding, I figure if I buy the movie studio for 180 million and click it once, it's going to take 25 minutes to touch down anyways. We don't even need to buy a manager for that yet. 
25 minutes. And the bank is going to cost $2 billion, whereas the oil company is going to cost $25 billion, so we still have a ways to go. To put this into perspective, we already have $413 million, and we can buy two upgrades with the movie studio. So let's milk all we can out of these small, thriving businesses. In 13 more levels, that's going to be going at twice the speed. Upgrading this car wash is going to get expensive. Bringing it up to level 91, another three levels is already costing $250 million. But that's going to be a pretty profitable car wash. For the first time, we hit $1 billion. And that's still not enough to upgrade my car wash to 100. And yeah, it would be faster to be upgrading it along the way, but I like the big dramatic one shot. Finally, we're able to bump that up to level 100. So we're going from making 142,000 every three seconds making 162,000 every mm, one second or thereabouts. I know it's fast enough to not get a reading on the scale anymore. While we're at it, let's upgrade the lemons to see if there's another upgrade at level 200. And there is. The lemons are going twice as fast. So now we're making, I don't know how much money, millions and millions and millions of dollars per second overall. The big question now, do we want to triple our hockey team's profits for $500 million? It's just money. Half a billion dollars, that's nothing. So it's now making $268 million per seven minutes or something. But I feel like that still pales in comparison to what these guys are actually making. They're smaller amounts, but they're so much faster. I've really got to focus on upgrading these. I decided to reinvest some money into that hockey team of mine, and look what we could do now. Another four levels? 559 million per tick, but the speed did increase. So it's 600 million every three minutes or something thereabouts. A short time later, we can upgrade our shrimp boat to level 50, which means profits times two. Look how quick it's going to go now for almost $100 million. 23 seconds for $100 million. Next, he's going to be trying to get that hockey team up to level 50 because it's already giving us $559 million per cycle, but it's crazy expensive at $161 million per upgrade. Magically, we're up to $5.6 billion, which is enough to buy the bank, but instead we're going to spend it on four upgrades to pizza to bring that up to level 100. And you might be asking if that was a wise investment, but if you've ever had pizza, you'd understand. Plus, it's making me 1.3 million dollars every two seconds and thanks to that upgrade we very quickly earned another 2.3 billion so now we can unlock the bank which is going to get us 1 billion dollars every hour and three quarters so that's a long time to wait and the upgrades start at 2.3 billion and here i am dreaming of unlocking the moon for a hundred trillion. But don't worry, I've got oodles of time. We'll just keep on upgrading things until we're making a hundred trillion dollars a second. Uh, I just touched the time warp it gave me and it gave me a hundred and twelve billion dollars. I thought I'd get a few billion out of that. So that kind of jumped me ahead. We've got a lot of money to invest. First thing I'm going to do is buy some managers, at least this one for 500 million. That way I don't have to click the movie button anymore because I'm far too busy for that. Well, maybe also buy the bank manager because he only costs $10 billion, the Dark Lord. And then while we're at it, I guess we're going to unlock the oil company and that's going to leave us still with $20 billion left over and we get five gold, which looks like it's used to buy a... Uh, boosts. But I'm kind of doing things the painful way today. The oil, by the way, takes 10 hours to do, but it's going to give us $90 billion by itself. Things are definitely getting expensive fast because even with $20 billion, I can upgrade my pizza place seven more times. That's it. I can't even get my donut shop to level 100 with that. So I think what I am going to do is maybe upgrade my movie studio to level 25 because that's going to be the single best investment I can make right now. Plus, as soon as I save up $10 billion, I can upgrade its profit three times. As soon as I manage to get this bank uh, triple profited and maybe up to level 50, it will pay for so many more upgrades and jump me way ahead. I'm here just patiently waiting. We're up to almost $7 billion and I need 10 for the next upgrade, but it's going to make a big difference. But things are growing quickly because we have $7.1 billion currently and our lifetime earnings are $145 billion. But the more we upgrade, the more this session is going to grow. It's going to go bigger, quicker. Plus, I'm pretty sure for every upgrade we buy for the movie studio, it's going to increase the uh, profits by $1 billion per click. And if you ever have the opportunity in life to increase anything by $1 billion per click, do it. And I'm playing this really exciting game with myself to see if we're going to get $10 billion before the 7 minutes and 45 seconds is up. So I basically sit here and watch one number get smaller and one get bigger. I couldn't imagine why people say there's something wrong with me. It worked! I looked away for a second. We're at $11 billion. So a small $10 billion investment means that in 4 more minutes we're going to get $7.5 billion back. Wait, only another 3 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Such excitement. And look what we got. Just before it's about to expire, we're going to spend $2 billion, and that's going to give us 
not nearly as much extra as you would have thought for $2 billion. Remind me not to upgrade this ever again. Maybe the shrimp boat is where we should be spending all of our money. That added an extra $5 million for every whatever it takes. And I again don't really know what we're earning per second, but it's the average of some millions, maybe even tens of millions at this point. It's pretty quick. Well, I guess it did still give us $7.8 billion, so we've got some upgrades to choose from. Now for things like the bank, we're going to wait till it's much closer to being done before bothering to sink any money into that because it doesn't matter if we do it when the bar is here or over here. I'm thinking we either get the hockey team to level 50 or the shrimp boat to level 100. In either way, that's going to be extremely expensive and time consuming. Our $8.8 .8 billion is only going to get us 17 levels here, but that's probably worth it because that's going to give us a billion dollars every 3 minutes and 11 seconds. That's actually very, very good. Plus we're only 4 levels away from level 50, so that profit's going up. By the time it's almost ready to pop again, we can afford one more upgrade, which isn't going to make a huge difference, but it won't until we hit 50 anyways. Alright, we very patiently waited away up to 2.4 billion, which is enough to get my hockey team up to level 50, which means it's going twice as quick. So it's now earning us 1.1 billion every minute and a half, which means we're generally pretty rich, but we still need to do better. I think we should upgrade the bank. They just print money anyways, so currently they're giving us $1 billion per whatever, now they're giving us $2 billion for whatever, so every time we upgrade that, an extra billion dollars is coming our way. We just have to wait over an hour for it. The trick here is that the more expensive businesses are worth it, you just have to wait so long to see that reward. But since our film studio just bumped us up to another $10 billion, Let's see if we can start working on this bank. So if we add three levels to that, that's worth an extra five billion. So we get about half our investments back worth. So maybe I'll just try and grind out the bank to 25 and the film studio to 50. What am I saying? Try and grind something out? I will grind it out. Mostly because I don't really have a choice. I don't have a life. Well, at least at this point, after several hours, it's not too hard to grind up another $10 billion. It is, however, very easy to spend it. Here's two upgrades. But don't you worry, once that hits level 25, it'll only take like four hours to get the money back. Actually, no it won't, since we have everything unlocked and nicely upgraded, let's use another warp, which is giving us $350 billion. That's pretty easy. So instead of buying max, I'm gonna do things like upgrade this to level 50 while we have the money to do it. That's pretty expensive in itself, but movie studio profits, times two. Plus, we're going to buy gold-plated vaults, which is going to triple our bank profits, and that's going to cost us 50 billion. But now when that bank's ready to go, 22.5 billion dollars. And look at that, we have perfectly enough to get it to level 25 if we spend 137 billion on it. All of our upgrades are getting into the trillions now, and that's a little bit disheartening. But also by happy coincidence, we can buy exactly enough to make the donut shop hit level 100, so we're going to do that. Which was also a pretty good upgrade, because now every three seconds, 15 million. So our money is going up and up and up. And and it's hard to really get a scale for that because this is in billions, but this is hundreds of millions. So 297 million, 200, 314 million, 316 million, you get the point. We could spend 34 billion getting the lemons up to level 300. But is it worth it? No, lemons are way too small. Next, I think I wanted to just buy two upgrades for my oil thing, and probably one for this. Because just between these two, that's a lot of money. But because things are still too slow for my liking, only 26 billion left over, we're gonna use the warp one more time. For 909 billion, we're almost at a trillion dollars. Which really makes me see how long it's gonna take to get through this game. I think unless you're buying upgrades, you're not gonna get very far very fast. But we're gonna buy another 22 upgrades for this, because then we're only two away. And I don't think it's going to take us that long to make up the 86, probably 200 billion dollars we're going to need to do that. Our session earnings by now are only 1.5 trillion, so I've got to earn a lot more if I'm going to get that moon. If we were to restart right now, we would get 2% plus 0.48% per angel, so we get 4.5%. Not worth it yet. So in order for a lot of these to hit their next level, the car wash for example, I would need 1.2 quadrillion dollars. I'm not really sure how big that is, but I'm pretty sure a quadrillion comes after a trillion. So I need 1200 trillions to get one single upgrade to that. And that actually really excites me because I like games with a lot to work towards. The ones you can finish in a few hours, not as good. The most realistic one that would do the best for me right now is spending 2 trillion on the hockey rink. Because that would give me well over a billion dollars every 30 to 45 seconds. And that would be the kind of progress I need. But for now, I'll settle for this one every 7 minutes giving me 13 billion dollars. Eventually that will add up to something useful. And later on, we can even get a new currency called Megabucks. One Megabuck costs one decillion dollars. 
Decillion. I don't even know how to pronounce that because that's basically a made up word to people like you and me. Unless we're playing a clicker game, then those numbers are fairly easy to get once we work our way through the billions, trillions, and whatever comes after that. Can you believe it's only going to be another 21 minutes before I get 158 billion dollars? I'm having another one of those amazing races where I'm trying to get 93 billion dollars before the next 20 minutes so I can upgrade this to 50. There's literally no point in me doing that. I just need something to entertain myself with. I guess in theory that will cut in half the time for next round. Well here it is, the moment I've been waiting for. We're about to get 158 billion dollars. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our level 50 upgrade because we're still out by 10 billion, but I'll take this amount of money. And that makes me sad, because we're up to 241 billion and we can't really get a lot of meaningful upgrades. We can buy this one, which is going to cut the time in half. So now every 25 minutes, we get 161 billion. But again, that's every 25 minutes. But I mean, I've got time if you do. Let's spend 146 billion on upgrades for this guy. There we go, another 160 billion dollars, which brings us up to 260 billion. So now we basically wait another 25 and a half minutes for that to happen again. Wow, you wouldn't believe how fast time flies when you're sitting here watching numbers go up. But also there's another 160 billion, which puts me up to 521 billion or a little over half a trillion, which does sound like a lot because 521 billion is a lot, but that means I only have enough to upgrade one of three different things currently, none of which are really worth my time. What I really need is one trillion dollars to buy Monopoly. That means all profits times three. And what's that gonna take? Only another hour? One short hour later and we're back over a trillion dollars. And I tell you, each minute gets even more exciting than the last. But now we can finally afford something that's really gonna help, all profits times three. So that really knocked the time down on a lot of things. Look at everything moving where we still have $45 billion to our name, and I feel like that's gonna jump up pretty quick. Because this one's up to 55,000 all by itself, even these ones, 46 billion here, 483 billion just for getting through 24 minutes. And in six hours and 50 minutes, and most of us are waking up to start our day, I'm gonna get $445 billion. And what am I gonna spend it on? making more money. Things are definitely much faster though, we're already up to 95 billion. Now with our $102 billion, we're gonna buy a manager, Derek Plainview. That way he can hopefully continue to make me money until I want to pick this game up again. But I feel like we made over a trillion dollars and that's a pretty good place to start. This man likes potatoes. We make money with potatoes. Therefore, we're going to bury his entire existence in potatoes. We've got so many potatoes, we need more land. Then we're just going to go ahead and borrow from a neighbor's state. They probably won't miss it, it's just land. The faster I click, the more I make, so... Plus five magic potions. We'll feed them to the peasants to see what they do. Oh, well it turns out if I want to use the potions, we get a comrade boost times 7,777 for 20 seconds. I don't want to boost these guys, I want to make them earn their potatoes. And these guys thought they had it before. They've never seen anyone anything like me. Because if the people working for you are smiling, they're not working hard enough. But we don't have enough misery yet, so we need more farmers. We need lots of farmers. More farmers equals more potatoes equals more suffering equals more farmers. We've done so much grade A communist farming that we've unlocked the bronze potato medal for 5 potions. The next upgrade costs 13,230 already. Luckily I'm lazy and have an auto clicker, so we're gonna get there really really quick. Yeah, after that the upgrades start to get pretty expensive but we're getting 343 potatoes a click so far so I can live with this. And we all know there's only three things that matter in life. Potatoes, land, and ore. The building blocks of great empires. Unibro even confirms it. If we grow enough glory you can buy more prestigious industries. What could be more glorious than potatoes? And they say I lack vision. 2400 potatoes per click and it's still gonna be a little while before we hit the 6 million we need. But we get a free one farmer per second and one comrade per second. Ooh, these guys really look like they're not going to enjoy things. Farmer comrades aren't even smiling already. Let's put him to work. We earned a bronze medal from exploiting that guy's hard work, but we're just going to keep making him work and work and work pretty much until he dies. Then we'll replace him with a younger, better worker and we'll repeat the process until no one's left. These communists really have it figured out. We've already got 140,000 ore. So we're gonna bump that number up to about 400,000, upgrade that, and then move on to weapons. Every communist deserves some good weapons. Now he's happy again. Yeah, just think about all the fun stuff you could do with that. Between the weapons and the potatoes, these guys are in for a good time. I don't know if I should give them more bullets or more potatoes. It's a little bit hard to decide. I'm not entirely sure yet what buying workers actually does, but I assume it's something good. And at the very least, I just get to own people. And 
that's always a lot of fun. Medicine. Well, what's the point of all the misery I'm going to do then? If we can just fix the people, there's no point in doing this. Unless we can make enough money off of medicine to buy more resources to hurt more people and make more money all at the same time. Okay, so to upgrade our little farm, we need to buy a commune, which means we need 100,000 uh, lands and 1,000 cowboy hats. The land won't take too long at all, provided those things stop popping up and annoying me, but we're already there. 100,000 lands, now we just need 1,000 cowboy hats. Oh, those are the farmers that have to go to work there. We just need a thousand farmers. A thousand farmers to run our commune. Not so much run it as mostly just die there, but whatever the case, we're gonna do it. I've always wanted my very own commune, and now I have one. Things might get expensive fast. If I want a collective, I need 1.00e plus 012. But... I've got time if you do. And we know that he definitely does. Our great empire at the moment is producing five comrades a second. So we need to get those numbers up. So while I'm thinking about how to do that, I'm just going to click on a bunch of things. We just crossed the 2 million potato mark. And that's 2 million more potatoes than I thought I would be harvesting today. But we're finally ready for our next upgrade to our potatoes. So we're going from 2401 to 16,800 per click. That's a huge boost. Four times the potatoes for four times the suffering. Then we'll do the same with the land. So we're going to go from 200. 16 per click all the way up to 1300 per click then only 7 million go to the next upgrade next upgrade is another six times so 7700 lands per click think of all the potatoes we could grow with all this land and then we're gonna need some ore to give these guys some trusty tools to ruin their lives with i think if we upgrade our ore we'll be able to unlock miners we get a thousand of those we'll be able to get a blasting site and that sounds wildly dangerous and probably pretty profitable and there we are 8.3 million ores brutally mined out of the ground it's the workers, the workers from the land that we need. So as soon as we buy some of these guys, we'll be able to afford the blasting site. Then we'll lose some workers, probably, but then we'll keep making progress elsewhere. And there we go, one blasting site for us. So basically, these upgrades are the auto miners. So now every few seconds, we're getting two extra farmers. That's slowly going to drive this number up and up and up. But that's how it works everywhere. The more we work down, the more things are automatically going to mine themselves, so I don't have to do this. This doesn't sound that bad, but that noise doesn't sound very good through headphones. But I definitely want more land workers, so I'm going to buy at least one more blasting site, two. So that's at least up to level five now. Make that level six, so we're getting six workers every 11 seconds automatically. The next upgrades obviously are going to take a little longer to get to. So while we're waiting, we're going to farm potatoes 16,807 at a time while looking at that man's very happy face. So my strategy is to sit here and mine this until we have the thousand farmers we need for the next upgrade. Then we're going to repeat the process process until we have an empire. A beautiful empire of pure suffering potatoes. Are you ready? No more potatoes? We're gonna buy 1,000 farmers and we only need 10 comrades so there we go. Plus one to the commune. So now instead of making two farmers every five seconds we're making three. That ladies and gentlemen is communism at its finest. We bought ourselves 15 miners so that means we're able to also buy things like a mine which is obviously pretty expensive but we're gonna need one. 100 million potatoes, 100,000 ammos, and 1,000 miners. But but since that's expensive, I'm going to assume it's worth it. So let's get back to mining 100 million potatoes. 100 million potatoes. Now we need 100,000 bullets plus the workers. And that's not actually that bad. That's already 100,000 bullets because at 125 a click at that speed, fast. And we don't yet have what we need for the workers for the miners yet, but it'll only take a few more seconds. Okay, but then buying all the miners took away from my other resources. So now I'm going to need to get those back before I can buy whatever it is I was just about to buy the mine just like that one mine now we're making two of these guys every 14 seconds it's a very slow process so far but we'll get there because i'm getting restless we're gonna hit the potato button so we're gonna get times 7777 potatoes for 20 seconds did it work already yeah there we go we're getting 130 130 million potatoes oh that's how it's supposed to work. I kind of wish we could just keep it at these numbers the entire time. But we earned enough for a few upgrades. Now we're getting 117,000 per click, 823,000, 5.7 million potatoes per click. That makes a little more sense. I was wondering why things were going so slowly. I was just going to blame it on this guy because, well... Look at them. So we should probably do the same for the land just to make sure we're getting adequate amounts of everything and also remembering to hit the upgrade button every time it shows up. And that's going to boost us even further ahead because now we're getting, I don't know, a whole lot of land. That's all that really matters to me. Big, big numbers. The next upgrade seems to be so far away that the meter is not even moving. 
but we're getting 60 million per click. I hope I'm not wasting things by doing this, but now we're gonna get extra comrades. There we go. If we want to buy a collective, we already have enough land. We'll need some more potatoes somehow, but the land we're there. And also, I'm not really sure how far away the next upgrade is because I don't understand these numbers. Well, we still get 100 scientists left to sacrifice, so let's do some ore. Or off you go. Upgrade 1, upgrade 2, upgrade 3, upgrade 4. They definitely get farther and farther apart the higher you go. But this will boost us ahead in our ore count. Well, we'll leave it here at 10 million ores per click. Next up, we're going to do weapons because we're just going to go through all of these because I assume that's going to help us out in a big way. Didn't make it nearly as far with our missile wielding friend, but we're up to 390,000 per click, so I'm not going to complain. Medicine. Really don't want to give these people too much medicine, but I guess if the doctor looks like that, then they're in pretty bad hands. Okay, cool cool just eat up my 20 seconds that's fine well there's 390,000 medicines per click which is more medicines than I'm ever going to give anyone ever well I'm thinking about my next move I'm going to buy 1,000 miners so I can buy another mine then I should probably also start buying some soldiers and people for medicine that way we can unlock some of this stuff we definitely need a fire team and all I need is more workers it is going to cost 10 million potatoes and 10 million land but I feel like we can afford that our most expensive buy yet one fire team I don't know what that is that is like the sound of a fire team and that's going to get me 16 potions and let's buy some nurses are we out of money for nurses already well whatever the case we're just going to keep upgrading whatever we can whenever we can so next we're going to try and buy enough communes the tents so that we can buy a collective because to buy one of those we need a thousand communes so that in theory if we need a thousand of these we need a thousand of these a thousand million potatoes a thousand one hundred thousand lands and that's going to take a little while oh unless we spend 10 percent of our fortune on 156,000 farmers and I've spent more on this. I can at least buy 156 communes and I feel like that's a pretty good start but we need more farmers again. So let's click this that many times and then we're gonna buy as many communes as we can which is 381. So we have 541 total now but we're getting 541 idiots every 10 seconds. Now things are finally starting to work automatically. Every five seconds 541 farmers here which is a valuable resource. I don't want to spend all my money creating more. I want them to be made automatically. So maybe just a few hundred thousand more farmers. Then another 200 communes that puts us up to 739 of those which means before you know it we'll have enough for the collective except for those damn potatoes. But I figure if I just leave this here for a couple minutes we'll maybe get to where we're going. A few minutes later my potato problem remains unfixed. So let's add some scientists to the mix times 7777 again. Now we're making big progress. We're making much more progress than we were before. Stupid amounts of potatoes. Currently, we could buy another 49 of these. As that thing touches down, another 50. So we're getting an extra one every five seconds. While I'm waiting on potato-related things, I'm going to spend 10,000 of my land on workers. That way I can buy uh, seven blasting... Well, I'm just going to buy a bunch of blasting sites. I need this number to be going up too while I'm waiting. All right, let's buy our 1,000 tents we need. Now we can get one collective. And we're also back to getting only six hats every six seconds. So we're going to have to bump that number back up again. And then to unlock the next thing, the plantation, we need a 1,000 collectives plus a whole bunch of potatoes and land. Well, for right now, I'm going to buy 340,000 farmers, which is pretty expensive. But then I'm going to buy some more communes again. Yeah, so we can start producing some farmers again. Because at least now we're getting 1,408 every 6 seconds. Let's get the same working on their land tab. We're going to buy 170,000 workers. Which means I can buy 173 blasting sites. So that's going to put us up to 510 every 12 seconds. That's going to be a big one. And I think we might as well do the same here with the miners. It's going to cost us, you know, a billion potatoes, 168 million land mass. But whatever, I think that's probably worth it. Because now we can buy 39, 42, uh, we could buy a bunch of mines that number is actually going up pretty quick and that number is going to jump up quicker and quicker every time we buy it we buy another 52 and it's going to go up by fours now and it doesn't even matter that they cost 5.8 billion potatoes every time we buy them because i've got that much but every time we need the basic workers for each of these industries they get more and more expensive like to buy 1400 soldiers it's going to be 158 million potatoes but 1600 comrades those are pretty expensive but once you upgrade it a few levels it starts to produce the uh soldiers or units themselves so then you just go and back here to buy some more and then you just go back and forth clicking until you're rich and then if you get restless you can increase all your industries by 777 times for 20 seconds so if we do that 
Our potato numbers are gonna jump through the roof for a second, and then we'll be able to quickly get some more upgrades. At least fairly quickly. Things are still pretty expensive because, well, things are just expensive. But the communes are going up quickly. Look how quickly we're able to afford these, and every time we click on it, it's gonna go faster and faster. And over at our excavator man, we're up to 530 units every 10 seconds. Which still isn't great, but it's getting up there. And somehow along the way, we managed to start producing 53 comrades a second. So this guy's never gonna be lonely. Not that he has the time. He has to spend his entire existence farming as many potatoes as possible. So in essence, the more we click this, the bigger this number gets, the bigger all the other ones are going to get. Because that's going to increase the production rate. So I'll see you guys in a while. Well, that didn't take long at all. We can buy almost 10,000 new communes, which means we're going to be making 53,000 now. But we're really still limited by the number of comrades we can have, so we need to boost that number. Scientists, do your thing. Times 7777 for 20 whole seconds. So now if we spend all our money on communes, we're being limited by the hats themselves. Luckily, they do make themselves back pretty quick, and that number is going up quite a bit faster than it was before, jumping from 195 to 261 just like that. So from 1 all the way up to 66, because it's going to give us 66,000 hats every single time it touches down. And back at our excavator friend, we can definitely upgrade that, so that's giving us 744, 746 every rotation, and this one's up to 442. There we go, we're up to 86,000 of those every one of those, and then 21,000 tents. Which means that if I spend half of my tents on these guys... We can have 14 and now we're going to get 28 of these every rotation. So before you know we'll have a thousand of those and enough for our very own plantation. So also interestingly, for every collective I buy, it boosts this number, which is actually this number. So the more of these I have, the more base units I'm going to get, which in turn means I can upgrade this even more. So everything builds a beautiful little cycle. Basically, I just need more everything. Also, to buy more communes, I'm going to need more land. So at 60 million a click, we're going to add up pretty quick, but it's still not moving towards the next upgrade. Regardless, I'm going to be pretty rich when it comes to land. That's a little bit better. If we have 13,000 tents, we should be able to buy 13 collectives. But let's split this right now. Let's spend half of our resources on six collectives, and then and that's going to help this number grow all by itself without me having to babysit it. And because we're just going to need land, let's spend another of these 10 potions on land. Even now, look how slow that upgrade is. I don't think we're even going to get to the next level. Not even close, but we probably did get a little bit more land. Things definitely start to slow down a little bit when you're trading in 254,000 pretty basic units for a minor upgrade. It's not even close to affording the next one, let alone the next three after that. I guess there's no point in holding on to these potions. Let's boost everything by 777 times for 20 seconds. That's gonna help things move along pretty nicely. Then if we buy some of those, that'll help that number go up again. We'll do it one more time. That upgrade should pay for itself then. And I saw something about Comrade Glory over here, so now we're making more comrades than ever before. That's an extra five farmers a second. Wow, look how big this number got. Probably because we have this many farmers. Well, let's go ahead and spend all those farmers on 783,000 communes, which should be okay because we're making them back that quickly. And then we can still only buy 20 collectives because we're limited by the comrades. But we can start with 54 for now because that's going to help this guy up here move faster, because we're getting 154 tenths every time that touches down now. Then let's go ahead and load back up on comrades. Just 5 potions for a time 7,777. So now that number is going to jump way, way up, and we can spend it more on things like collectives. That's a little better. If we spend 50% on collectives, we get plus 5 comrades a second, plus this number is now going to go up by 1,596 every rotation. So this is going to grow by itself pretty quickly at this point. We're also over half halfway to what we need for our plantation, which is a thousand of these guys, we have 532, plus some extra potatoes. I mean, the potatoes are easy, all we need to do is click on that and then this. And we might even hit our next upgrade, which will be great, because you can never have too many potatoes. Not when it comes to these comrades. So now we're getting this many, uh, potatoes per click. So while we're at it, let's spend 50% of our fortune on another 290,000 communes, which is gonna push that number way, way up. And then if we play the 50% game again, spending these units to buy these, we'll now get 2700 of those every cycle so those pay for themselves pretty quickly but we're almost up to the thousand we need here eventually we'll be making things like the hives which will give me plantations which will give
give me these guys, which will give me communes. In fact, let's push into it right now. There we go. And we're getting plus two collectives a second, so that's kind of helpful. And 20 more potions because I'm still good at potatoes. But wow, I actually still can't afford the next upgrade because I somehow still don't have enough potatoes despite this being a thing. Well, I guess these potions aren't going to spend themselves. Hopefully this pushes me up to the number I need. That does seem to have done it, but I'm a little concerned now at how many raw potatoes we're going to need to accomplish anything at all at this point. And I don't think I want to buy a plantation quite yet because that's going to use up a thousand of these which is providing me five thousand of these every few seconds so let's let these pile up a little bit first i've amassed a little bit more so i'm gonna buy another 400 collectives and that's gonna push that number up to seven thousand every cycle so i think now that we can afford to buy ourselves another hundred ninety three thousand of these we can feel comfortable enough to spend 50 percent more on these so now we're gonna get 8800 every cycle let's finally commit and buy a plantation that was really expensive but the fact that it's gonna give me three of these guys every minute is actually huge Huge. Those three are very expensive by themselves. And then a hive is only going to take a thousand plantations, so we'll be there before you know it. You know what? Since we have a plantation activated right now and we still got potions, let's go ahead and boost it by 777 times for 20 seconds. Because look at it boost this number up. Now that's up to over 1300 already, and that's boosting this number up here, which is going to trickle back down. But whatever we just did also kind of ran us out of comrades. We're making 82 a second, but we're going to need more than that to be able to do anything. So let's do a comrade boost and then we're gonna do the potato thing again because there's something satisfying about watching these numbers go up we had an extra six farmers a second and four communes a second this number is well over 2,000 now, so we could even buy another plantation if we wanted to. That is, if we had more potatoes. Even as fast as I could make them now, this would take a really long time to get to the number we need. Unless I touch this thing, then we'll get to the number we need before you know it. And we did it, but let's just go a little bit further. The important thing to note here with all our resources is how much this number is going to go up. One plantation equals an extra three of these, but that's actually huge because these guys are expensive. While we're at it, we should probably buy this many this things. I'm sure that's going to have a good use over a little bit of time, but I think we're going to need to take some time to stockpile more potatoes, despite the fact we've already mined this much. I don't know how many zeros that is, but I'll probably put it in the thumbnail. We've only got 10 days left in this event. That's not enough time. Because we're barely even on the leaderboard so far, but we're going to fix that today. And it's fitting that we have a bonus called line skip, which is kind of what we're going to be doing today. Oh, is it hot in here? But to start, we're going to buy some lemons for $4. And then we're just going to click and click and click. But this is probably going to be the slowest things are going to go today because we're going to be moving at light speed before you know it. Caviar dots, click. Turns out caviar dots are a little bit slow. They take like four minutes to get done. So we're going to go back to clicking lemons. But our first goal is accomplished. Enter the event. Great. We've moved up the leaderboard. We get a little bit of gold. All right, how are we doing on the leaderboard? We are in 17th place for some reason. That's already way higher than we should be. I'm glad we have some uh, competition though. I feel like we probably hold the advantage overall though. So we're up to $32. That means we're going to buy an upgrade for our lemon stand. And it looks like if we get it to about level 25, uh, we're going to get a big bonus for that. And we're now making $64 per click. Now we're getting $104 per click because that got a nice bonus. So suddenly we're making money. Okay, let's buy Champagne Falls. That sounds like fun. That's another long one. I kind of like these because I can sit there and just wait. That's only $25 over five minutes. Dodo Legs, however, is $33 over also a long time. I guess these are supposed to represent long waiting times, like long, long lines. So we have an endangered animal petting zoo. I bet we can turn those into dodo legs also. That's worth $2,500 over no time. Why is this one so valuable suddenly? Like we're going to make so much money over a few seconds. I'm not complaining, I'm just probably horribly misunderstanding things as usual. But now we're up to $3,000, we'll soon be up to $5,000. So we'll buy a grey poupon, a stick. Uh, that's more fitting, that's $5,000. It's like a thousand times less money than this one. So Ivory Tower of Terror, Stock Market Crash Coaster, we're just going to go ahead and see. Those have good money, but they take a long time. Capitalism Hill is wildly expensive. Holy look at all! If I'm reading the comments correctly, it's 19 trillion, 550 billion, 717 million, 100 thousand dollars. So I guess for now, I'll stick to my uh, lemon thing here and then this guy here, because these are going to be my money makers. This one in particular that we're going to level up. It's going to take a long ways to hit his next bonus, but it's already up to, look how big that gets, 55,000 every whatever, 20 seconds. 
So that's going to be a pretty big boon. So we'll just keep clicking that and this. And then we can start on our upgrades. All profits times two and a whale of a time endangered animal profits times four. $440,000 every 15 seconds. So our money's getting big fast. We just got to decide what we want to buy next. So we'll buy this one and then this one. There we go. It's making $1,600 every couple seconds. That also boosts the profit elsewhere, and I really need to remember our endangered petting zoo. Those, Those animals, animals aren't suffering, suffering for nothing. nothing. Then we're going to buy max on the petting zoo, because that's going to go from $880,000 profit to $5.88 million every 13 seconds. Which means we definitely just broke a new record for profit, which means we could probably buy the next for some of these. Nope. So we're going to buy max a bunch of things. Uh, you, we're just going to start you again. We're just going to do that. We're going to click all of the upgrades, hit this again, get another $5 million, repeat. It's not even worth clicking on this one anymore. Like it makes $1,600 in a few seconds, but that makes $6 million. So we're going to buy max that, start again. These ones are a lot quicker now. This one is going to make millions in less than a minute. So that's something. Then we're going to upgrade this guy. He's now making $3,600 every three minutes. He's still not a big earner, but they don't all have to be. At least not yet. They will be eventually. And I think I have enough for the first manager. So he's going to run Lemon Lane. <sighs> So that's just going to make $1,600 every three seconds, and I don't have to do a thing. Uh, then we're going to upgrade whatever this one is. It's now making $1,700 every so often. The Animal Factory touched down again, so we're going to do the pet food, whatever that is. Then we're going to try and buy next. Uh, we can actually buy the next one for this, so it's $2,400. And I think the more we level things up, the faster everything's going to go. But we're also going to get all profits times two for $500,000 and Grey Poupon uh, profit times eight for a million dollars. So this one's actually making $48 million now every I don't know how long, but $48 million is a lot of money for me. But we're at 36th place on the leaderboard. This isn't going to work at all. We need to make $160 million. We need to level things up. But I'm also in a hurry uh, as much as I like clicking to buy the managers because they can do the work for me. JK9 is going to run Caviar Dots. Uh, the, buying the next upgrade for that, the next level is going to be 2.8 trillion, so it's going to be a few minutes, but we did hit one of our goals. And, uh, I'm not sure what's touching down to make us all that money, probably mostly this one, but we're up to 120 million. I haven't really been paying attention, but we're making a lot of money suddenly. So, Bubsy Casanova is going to run Champagne Falls. I think that cost me 60 million dollars, so that wasn't cheap. But that's one less thing I need to click on. Then we're going to double our profits again, then we're going to get the Ivory Tower of Terror, profits times 16 for 30 million. And then also all profits times two again for 100 million. So the Ivory Tower of Terror is now making 552 million every 40 seconds or something. So that's going to be my big earner for a bit. And we can buy the next level for my animal farm. So that's making $416 uh, every 10 seconds. Along with that, we spent $230 million. So we get 100 points, own endangered animal zoo times whatever. That's giving us, oh, we also stockpile cash. So our total points is up to 485 on the leaderboard. That's pushed us up to 22nd place. But the leader is going to start running away on us soon. So while I'm at it, we're going to click the orange thing so they make us money. Then we're going to buy Ren's Dodo Legs for Michelle D. Cathy. Oh, and then for $700 million, we could buy John Crikemond. Crikemond? Crikemond. $700 million. He's going to run the Animal Petting Zoo. So that $416 million is now doing itself. So before I really even paid attention to money, we're up to $4.4 billion. And that's going to go up quickly. So we're going to buy another mansion uh, manager for $2 billion. That's less clicking we have to do, then upgrade whatever we can. Stock market crash coaster profit times 32. 32 times profit. What's that up to now? 1.1 billion every time it touches down. Which is still every minute and something, but if it's a billion dollars, that's still not bad. Because for $4 billion, we get money parade. All profits times 3. So now our animal farm is making $1.2 billion every 10 seconds. And because it's making so much money, I think I'm going to max buy on it. That way it's uh, going to be making $1.5 billion every 10 seconds. Then we're getting closer and closer to Capitalism Hill. It is still $20 trillion, but the way we're going, it won't take long to get there. We can actually buy the next upgrade for uh, this guy who's currently making $576 million. Uh, every 20 seconds so now he's making 8 billion every 20 seconds which is a lot considering we basically have 4 billion currently so then we got some more upgrades coming up soon this one for 18 billion dollars this one for 18 billion dollars it doesn't take as long to make that anymore in fact i looked away for a second and i basically got enough to buy both so we're going to start with the uh this doesn't run itself i forgot about that but now this makes 36 billion dollars every 40 seconds this one makes 86 thousand dollars quickly this will level up to be useful eventually 
but we're making more cash so that's another goal on our thing we're going to be slowly working up the leaderboard but it's going to get harder and harder to move but here's our next uh manager dave engineer dave engineer probably is what we're looking for there anyways this now runs itself so that will make its money without me having to touch it the money is absolutely rolling in now and we get another upgrade wow look at all the upgrades uh caviar dots profit 150 times uh also champagne falls times 100 profits so that one's not huge i think this was one of them okay we need more jumps like that though at 100 150 times profit we're gonna make some money dodo legs times 100 we're already up to 100 billion dollars and i can't tell you how good that feels which gives us the next chance for an upgrade i'm going to be selective on which one of these i pick uh because neither of them none of them are particularly useful yet so i'm actually gonna buy this instead so it can make 150 billion dollars every 50 something seconds that's just going to make us more money quicker so we get these upgrades quicker because we still need a lot of these upgrades to make it worthwhile despite the fact we're making tens of billions of dollars every few seconds okay i guess i can't get away from it anymore here is 140 billion 140 billion and we'll soon buy this for also 140 billion the next upgrade for the roller coaster is 250 octodecillion so it's going to be a while before we can afford that particular one we need to get 99 trillion so we can get otter nonsense so our animal farm can make more money what we're going to do for now is spend 184 billion dollars on an upgrade for our lemon farm and that put the money up to a million dollars every second or so and that also jumped the profits up elsewhere in a big way now this one's making 300 billion dollars every 24 seconds so now we'll get into the trillions quickly look at that money go up so we're also going to buy a rather expensive uh crash d woody 200 billion dollar manager he better be worth it but now I don't need to manually click on anything anymore like some idiot. It all runs itself. This one's up to $1.2 trillion every whatever its cycle is. And I'm okay with that kind of money because trillions are where we're going to start to get into some upgrades again in a big way. Even though they're going to still be a little bit slow to make profit, this one's up to $13 billion, But it did uh, increase the profit here and eventually they'll increase everything anyways. I only need another 11 lemon lanes to get 345 points. So we're going to manually buy 10 and uh, one more. Those get expensive quickly. I didn't realize that was going to be that much. Anything for the leaderboard though, no matter how expensive it gets. Since we got another trillion and a half dollars, we could buy probably all three of these really. So now even the caviar place is making 940 billion. This one's making three trillion per cycle. It's a longer cycle, but three trillion dollars is a lot. That's six times what we have right now. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one. I think it's a shorter cycle and that's going to give us two trillion dollars on its cycle, which is great. And then it's not going to be hard to save up the four trillion. I need to upgrade the meat stick. Okay, I looked away for one sec. Now we're up to $11 trillion, so we can certainly spend four on a little upgrade here. That means you're making $4.5 trillion every minute and change. But no, all the next upgrades are into the quintillions of dollars, so it's going to be a sec before we get there. But now I can't decide which one I want to upgrade because I don't really know which one is actually the most profitable right now. What I can do, since this is a bit of a slow point, is use the line skip. So if I go like this, I can't remember what I have to click on. Is it this one? So this can actually hold it off a little bit. And if I use the auto clicker, it'll certainly hold it off. But I'm not going to do that just yet. But we're up to $160 trillion already as I click away as quick as I can. Honestly, even that's probably fine. We don't want to get too much of an advantage. Because our otter nonsense, we're going to get our uh, animal farm eight times profit. And it was already pretty profitable. Actually, it's fallen behind. It's now making $100 billion every few seconds, which isn't a lot anymore. What we could do is claim 67 angels to get a 2% bonus per angel. Normally, you'd have to reset, but we can use gold to not reset. So we're going to get 134% bonus income, if I'm understanding that correctly, which should help us out in a big way. We're currently at 20th place on the leaderboard. We're not too far behind a few of these other ones, but the leader's up to 20,000 now. But we only need another 26 dodo legs to get another 4,300 points, which might actually be pretty expensive. 26 doesn't sound like a lot, but I can't even afford 10 because that would cost $208 trillion. I can buy another 100 levels of this one, which did bring its profit up quite a bit, but it was reasonably cheap to do that. I suppose I'll also do this one. It's going to go from 690 billion to 920 billion every cycle. And I completely forgot about Capitalism Hill. It costs 20 trillion dollars we have 110 trillion dollars we can afford it oh and that increased the speed of everything by four times so that actually did, i now make four times as much money as i did a second ago and this by itself makes two billion dollars to begin with but it takes 30 minutes to buy four levels of that costs 30 quadrillion dollars 
But on the brighter side, everything's moving along at light speed again. And right now, any upgrades that are in the billions, we're just going to go ahead and buy 10 levels there, 10 levels there, and 10 levels there, because I won't really notice that anyway. I'm too rich. And then apparently I've got two uses of a one-day time warp that'll give me 150 quadrillion dollars. I don't know if it's giving that for free or if I have to spend gold to do it. I already forgot how much gold I just had, but we just skipped a full day, so now we have 150 quadrillion dollars at our disposal. Which is enough for a single upgrade here. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Profits of everything times 7 just from doing that, so we're suddenly making tons more money. And we finished enough events to get another Time Warp Express. But let's talk about some of these upgrades. They all seem to be either the uh, Poupon or the Tower of Terror, so we're just going to go ahead and buy them all. Which means some of these are now making $50 trillion per cycle, and they don't have a particularly long cycle. And since there's no point in waiting, let's use a warp. That's going to give us another $220 quadrillion. Okay, and then I think this tower is our big earner right now at $24 trillion. We can actually afford the upgrade for it, so it's now making $77 trillion every couple seconds. The money's still going too slow for my liking, so we're going to do the angels again. But we're going to go from 67 angels to 2800, and we don't need to restart. Then there we go, that number's moving again, and I need that number moving. And Claiming Angels has got me another upgrade here, so on the leaderboard, yeah, we're slowly moving up. We're still a little ways away from the next upgrade, which would be 1.5 quintillion. What I need is this, Capitalism Hill Profits times 10,000. 10,000? But since I have another one day warp, let's use that. 100 quintillion dollars, which is almost enough for the Iconoclassal. But I think for now I want to focus on the tower because it's going to be my biggest earner for a little bit. So I'm going to buy this one and then this one. Which still leaves me with 80 quintillion dollars but the tower is now making 4.3 quadrillion every couple seconds. Then we're going to buy this for 1 quintillion and then this for 1.5 quintillion. That boosted the profits everywhere. This one is making 15 quadrillion dollars every cycle so I think I should maybe upgrade it. It's going to cost half my money. But it's now making 50 quadrillion dollars. Uh, we basically just took a whole day to make that. Now it's going to take us 30 seconds. And we finished our Dodo Lake Challenge. That gave us 4,300 points. That's huge. That put us way up the leaderboard. Yeah, that jumped us up to 9th. Because that basically doubled our points. Plus, we just put on the caviar thing we just earned at a 75% boost to the base speed. So everything's moving even quicker. The lemon farm is just going at light speed now. 5.6 billion dollars many times a second. Uh, I might have misspoke a second ago, I was confusing quadrillions and quintillions, but we're still making a lot of money. I've let things run for just a few minutes, that gave us 40 quintillion dollars, which still isn't really enough to do anything exciting. Until I use my angels to do a restart. So we're going to go from 3,000 angels to 45,000 angels, each with a 2% boost. I also bought a little bit of gold, just to expedite things a little bit. So now we have about 50,000 angels. The number of angels we get is going up pretty quickly. We've already made an extra thousand again on top of that, and that should help us get a few more, you know, things. Even with doing that though, the next upgrades are still so far away. The game really makes you work for it these days. But that's quadrillion, so that's easy. That's quadrillion, so that's easy. This is quintillion, so it's one-tenth of our money currently. These things are making almost a quintillion dollars every 10 seconds, really, so that's worth the money. Plus, if we sacrifice 50% of our angels, we get a 5 times profit. I don't know if that's worth it to sacrifice 25,000 angels times 2%. When I say it like that, the math doesn't work out in my head, but I'm kind of stupid, so I don't know. What we'll try and do for now is buy some Lemon Lane, Champagne Falls, and uh, the stock market. 8,100 points. The leader had 21,000 last I checked, so we've got a ways to go. We need 307,000 angels, champagne falls, caviar dots. Both of those are absurdly expensive, so we're not going to buy those. Okay, since we're at another slow point again, let's expedite this progress just a little bit. What we're going to do is spend some gold, finally. So we're going to make 7.77 times profit on everything. Which turns them all a beautiful shade of yellow and should give us a little bit of an advantage on the uh, race to the top of the leaderboard. I can already see my money at the top starting to move up a little bit quicker than it used to. So then on top of that, we're going to spend even more gold to give a further profit. We just multiplied things times 8, now we're multiplying that by 18. So obviously this is going to help our profit out just a little bit. So our money just jumped up to the sextillions suddenly because everything's making such a stupid amount of money. So everything has been platinumed out. Uh, we might have a new reward to get. Oh, we get a time warp. We might as well use that. I mean, everything's running at a nice bit of profit. There's an extra 876 trillion dollars. So we're going to buy uh, 10,000 times profit for this, 5 times profit here, 5 times profit here, and 5 times profit here. Now my businesses are making quintillions, hundreds of quintillions of dollars. They're making sextillions of dollars every second. So a quick check to the leaderboard. We still have 8,800 points. We're in ninth place. We got to get over 21,000. 
But we can finally buy the manager for the last business, which I don't think is even touched down once yet because it takes so long. So what else can we do to boost this along? We have $806 trillion, but we need much more. Oh, I guess we we could increase our angel amount by uh, a lot. Basically 4.4 million more angels than we have now. Yeah, I think I could probably spare the gold. And now look at that number jump up. Uh, since I restarted a second ago, we've made uh, 200,000 angels back. Which means I can sacrifice 2,500 of them to multiply our profits by 5 times. So everything's jumped up yet again. This is making 36 sextillion dollars every couple seconds. This one's making 10 sextillion every second. Which gets us another angel bonus. And we're into the septillions of dollars and we're not looking back. I did kind of forget there's um, multipliers here too. Like we can get a free 12 times multiplier apparently. That's child's play. We want 27 times multiplier. We'll maybe use that a few times because why wouldn't we? Um, we can also get boost your profit speed by a lot. So we're just going to buy some of those as well. I completely forgot these exist, but I'm glad I remembered now. If I click on these enough good things are going to happen. I'm pretty sure of that. So jumping back in to take a look at what we just did, the uh, septillions are going by pretty quickly. We're making like 100 septillion dollars a second, so we're into the octillions. Which means we're probably going to, yeah, make some more cash and we're going to be able to afford some of this stuff for sure. They were up to 10,000. Yeah, we're just going to speed run the game from this point on. I think I want everything going light speed though, so we need some more boosts. So we want speed. We need speed, then we'll do 27 times multipliers again, because why wouldn't we? Then maybe a few 27 times multipliers. Things still aren't moving at light speed, but they're a lot closer than they were. We're going through the octillions pretty quickly, uh, so we better try and keep up. This is going to cost 5 octillion dollars for the stock market coaster, which is now making 21 septillion dollars uh, a few times a second, let's call it. Oh, and I didn't realize we could buy the next for some of these. This now makes 106 octillion dollars. This makes 9 septillion. This makes uh, 50 quintillion. This makes 1.3 octillion dollars every second. And since I'm making money so quickly, I'm just going to max buy everything to hopefully get my uh, goals done over here. Because I'm pretty sure doing this is going to hit a lot of goals. So Lemon Lane is done. This one's done. We need 415 dodo legs for 4,300 points. How much do dodo legs cost? Okay, a lot. We can currently buy 24 of them, so that's a start. Oh, and we can definitely afford some more uh, upgrades here. Probably time to redo our angels too. We're going to go from 4.5 million to 160 billion. We might as well. Uh, and as soon as we did that, we can now restart again for 5 trillion angels. Uh, make that 20 trillion angels. I'm not sure what happened with that jump, but it was pretty big. So let's just go ahead and do this right away. Now it's uh, going up again. If we were in undecillion, now we're in two duo decillion. So that's probably enough to get a few things going over here. Maybe the dodo legs. Well, we're not quite there, but we're getting closer, which is pretty ridiculous. So we get Lemon Lane profits times a thousand. That's going to be a very profitable business. It's making 24 no million dollars at light speed. Uh, also, we're going to sacrifice 4 million angels and then 28 billion angels for 9 times profit on what we just had. This still isn't fast enough. This takes 6 seconds. Do I look like the kind of person that has 6 seconds to spare? I haven't lived through 6 seconds in my entire life. We're going to flex capacity the life out of this thing. Then we're running a little bit low on gold, so we'll just do a you know a few 27 times multipliers on top of that just to be sure we're making progress. What reality you live in? There we go. Now the duodecillions are flying by. So we're gonna buy the next level of you because you're gonna get profits times seven everywhere. Let's do that again. Profits times a thousand. Mm, the speed of this one is still slow. The other ones are moving pretty quickly though. But this stupid farm at the bottom, 155 duodecillions is probably a lot of money in reality. Oh wait, good news, we're at the point where we can spend 80 duo decillion to get all profits times 3. We're almost at the bottom of the upgrade chart. We still need dodo legs. We need 300 levels of dodo legs. You know how hard that's going to be to do? We can't even afford the first 100 yet. We need to step up our game. There's the caviar, so uh, profits of them times 5, so that's 3 duo decillion dollars light speed. We're currently in 6th place, but uh, the guy in front is just going. I wonder if it's a bot to make people chase it like that. If so, I'm down. We're going to catch him. So we're going to swap out 20 uh, trillion angels for 16 quadrillion, which put us into the quattro quadrillion. That let us get another 500 points for the angels. All profits times five. Then we can sacrifice 300 trillion angels for all profits times three. Our big business at the bottom is now up to 40 quindecillion dollars, which is a lot. That doubled our entire money right now. So whatever this is doing, it's a lot. To emphasize how big that is, that basically allows us to buy everything every upgrade that's left save for two then we can buy another upgrade for that so it's now a hundred quintessillion dollars okay and then let's quickly do the angels again just to give us another happy little boost now we're into the sextillions of angels 
which allows us to buy the rest of the upgrades. So now everything is uh, maximum upgrades in that menu. We can buy the next one of these. So what does it cost to buy 100 dodo legs now? I still can't afford even 100 of them. But we can get all profits times 15 by buying these two, which helps us buy a few new things here. Uh, I think this one's maxed now because it's only going one at a time. This one's not though. That's going to give five times profit. That's going to give five times profit. And this one's also maxed. In hindsight, I should have uh, strategized this part better. I basically just went for making money, assuming it would help here. And it does, but it'd be better to strategize through the levels. Okay, we're going to trade our 200 quintillion angels for 100 sextillion, which is a large factor increase. Which means I could buy 1300 levels here for its next level. Profits of everything times three. 1300 levels here. Profits of everything times three. And again... Profits times three, profits times three on top of that. Then we're going to get 90 here for profit times four for dodo legs. And we're up to November Decillion. We're up to level eight on the chart. Level 12 is where it ends. We've probably jumped up the leaderboard. Yep, to fifth place. Uh, the guy in first place has still two and a half times our standing. So let's sacrifice some angels to bump up our profit again. Then we can buy these two. This one won't be worth it, but we're almost done with angel upgrades, which means our money is going up pretty quickly. I don't even know what these numbers mean anymore, but we can buy the best upgrade there. Before we do that, let's claim these. Now we can buy this, all profits times nine. We're already making absolutely absurd money times nine. I don't know why I'm like this, but 27 times multiplier on top of all that, probably like four of those. And then we're going to buy a few more flex capacitors. Capitular. Now things are moving at a good pace. Can we buy 100 levels of anything? Give me 100 levels of everything. I guess we're probably overdue to finish our angels too. 171 octillion angels, which is considerably more than we have now. Which probably means we can afford the last of these. 4 octillion and then 3 septillion angels. And our profit is Traventillion. Don't worry, that doesn't mean anything to me either. But here's another 1200 uh, event points. More stock market coaster. I've also realized there's a pretty cheap boost. If I spend 40 gold, I can go through 14 days worth of profit. Given that I'm making money at light speed anyway, there's two weeks and another two weeks and another two weeks. There's a month and a half worth of profit, which boosts the angels up from octillion to 21 decillion, which I don't know. That's a huge increase again. And it's going up in no nillions now, which was definitely something I needed for here, which gave me another warp. Long story short, I can skip through two weeks, swap the angels again, do that again and make tons of money. Okay, using a strategy a few times, I've already jumped up to third place on the leaderboard at 22,000 points, a hair behind number two. Okay, I've also increased the profits everywhere, increased the speed everywhere, warped through time, done angels. So our angels are up to, we have 1.2 trade a angels. Uh, but even now, I'm still struggling to hit the goals. We're way up the list, but I still need 7,000 levels of this. 7,000 levels of this. Only 30 levels of dodo legs, but currently I can afford zero. Even making this much money and having this much, zero. Then if we wait two full weeks, I can afford one level of dodo legs. And even if I swap the angels now, it adds about the number I have now, so it doubles the angel bonus. Things have slowed down massively. So I'm going to refresh the goals, hoping for something a little more agreeable. Hey, that's an easy one, 220 points. Then I can buy the animals, this one and this one, and I think I get more points off at least two of those. I wish I saw the refresh thing earlier because this is much easier. I only need another three levels of champagne, which is already done. And then we're going to have another one done because the money's adding up by itself because that's capitalism. So that put me comfortably into number two on the leaderboard. I don't think I'm catching him. I've already spent a ton of money and time doing this. I don't know how to catch him. I did manage to get to 30,000 points by cycling through goals, which got me this, which gives a 250% boost to the base speed of your shrimp boats on Earth. We did actually catch some ground on number one. But I think at this point, he can have it. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Today we're going to try and make a number so big it's stupidly impossible, starting with this. Which isn't much, but it's a start. One dollar every time we click it. And before you know it, we can upgrade it for two dollars each. Now every time we click it, five dollars. Five dollars at a time. Which means we can also afford valentines for five dollars, notebooks, and then pricey spicy sauce. I can't even imagine what that's for. Now we go up and down the list, clicking away, getting $10, $6, $3, $5. And just like that, we've already earned 70, soon to be 100 whole dollars, which means we can buy any other names. I'm not really sure which ones to upgrade first, so we're also going to buy Bling, because Bling is a very important part of Valentine's. Well, since this one's the cheapest, I'm going to get it to level 10 to see if there was a bonus. There wasn't, but I do get $10 per click now. So while I'm at it, let's also buy bitter sweets because it's the most expensive. It's going to take a while to get there, but it's going to get me $36 every time that green line lands. Then we're also going to buy free meals. That's going to get $28 every time that lands. And we're just going to keep buying stuff and watching the numbers get real big. 
We also got uh, Unicoach rides, whatever those are. That gets me $45 per click. And we can click that and forget about it for a second because it takes a while to land. But I'm thinking we should uh, upgrade the uh, spicy lubricant, whatever this actually is, uh, because I think that's going to be the best bang for a buck because now it gets $50 every time that lands. And it doesn't take that long to do it. Now we're going to get 60 every time it lands. And I'm pretty sure the upgrades are going to pay for themselves, really. Basically, I want this up to like 10 trillion, trillion, trillion dollars per click. We're going to have enough love for the entire universe after today. Oh, I forgot about my goals. Yeah, we entered the event claimed. We need to own Valentine's and bling. Pretty lofty goals, but I'm sure we'll manage. We're now level 10 with this, so we're getting $100 per click. While I'm at it, I'm going to bring this up to 25. So 25 per click. This is probably still actually the fastest because it's really just that click quick. Uh, I've also put a bunch of money into this one. That's $75. So between the two of them, we're going to get a lot of money very quickly. And let's go a little more. So we get that up. Basically, I'm going to spend all my money on this because this one's going to do it. Then once we get to about $5,500, we can buy our first manager. $5,555. They are basically going to automatically run this one, so we're making $25 every second or two. Let's bump that up to uh, maybe $50 every second or two. Now we just sit back and let the money roll in while upgrading everything else. The next manager is $22,000. I choo choo choose you. You choo choo choose me? Happy Valentine's. So now it's just a matter of making that kind of money which shouldn't be that hard if we keep upgrading everything. So we'll start with this guy who's already up to $100 per click. And this will try and bring up just a little bit. Upgrades are quickly getting expensive because things get really big really quickly. And I just touched the love meter for a second because I couldn't remember what it did and it brought the money up very quickly. Now we're up to $7,500 suddenly. So what do we upgrade now? Mm. Actually looking at it, level 50 doesn't have it anywhere near a level up. This, surprisingly close to a level up. I think if we get this to 25, it is actually going to get a bonus. The problem with this one is the upgrade's already uh, $4,000. Not that we don't have that, but it's getting harder and harder to make that. I'm just going to buy everything a couple levels up, uh, even though it's going to get expensive quickly. It's just going to make it worthwhile because I'm going to touch them every frequently. They're going to be touched a billion times, so any little upgrade is going to be worth it. While we're at it, let's maybe buy 100 more levels of this. That's going to um, put me up to $150 per click, and it's that much closer to its level up. Not sure that was worth it, but it did triple our uh, income, basically. And we're maybe just going to turn this to the buy max for a little bit. That way I can be extra lazy. We already made another $4,000. This is only going to take a few levels, but those are going to get expensive quickly. I think it's still better to go for the hot sauce lubricant. So another seven upgrades at about five, $7,000 is going to be, I don't know, we're probably going to need over $100,000 to get this one. We've quickly earned, uh, saved up about $20,000, mostly because I'm slowly clicking on everything, but also... The uh, chocolate boxes working by themselves is certainly helping me out in a big way. And at $22,000, we get the manager for the train. So now the train also runs itself, so now we're making 300 and something dollars every couple seconds. Like we've already made another $12,000, which means I can uh, get dark chocolate, which doubles our chocolate box production. So it's now making $300 a second, so we're close to $500 every couple seconds. So the $60,000 would really only take us about two minutes if I let it go by itself, but I'm also going to be clicking because it makes me feel alive. Zoned out for a second, but there's another $33,000, so there's another two upgrades for the uh, lube. The next upgrade's $23,000, and one after that's probably going to be twenty-seven. dollars so we're going to need about sixty dollars to be able to get that to where we want it. Alright, well, we just went from like uh, $500 a second to basically considerably more, thousands of dollars a second, and I'm okay with that. Who knew you could make so much money off spicy lubricant? But I can already afford the next manager, so we're going to buy that. So now we're making $2,500 every three seconds or so. Then for upgrades next, we're going to do the uh, candlelit TV dinners. Uh, it's going to be a little bit expensive to get the rest of the way there, but we only need level 10. And actually, this one's probably getting close. We can buy 90 levels of this. We probably need to get it to 250. So we can get another bonus there pretty easy. Also, this one's income jumped up to $1,600 per second. But then when we click on this to bring it to $250, it's now up to $5,500 per second. So we're at like $10,000 a second suddenly. Oh, I'm also going to buy the golden rails, so Valentine's profit times two. That costs $70,000. But it's now up to $4,000 every two seconds. And I just looked up at my money and I quickly have almost $200,000 which apparently is enough for a spicy spice for $100,000. That's the next manager for my spicy lubricant. Uh, I can also double the notebook's profit for $123,000, so we're going to do that right away. 
it's now making $6,100 every three seconds. So I'm finally nicely at that point where I don't need to click on things anymore. The money's just making itself $10,000 a second, give or take. So next, let's try and get the candlelit dinners up. Okay, the next upgrade is 350, so we're going to need probably a few million dollars for this. Well, one million dollars for the next two levels. Well, let's buy the first one. The next one's going to be $960,000 all by itself. That seems like a lot of money, but at the rate we're going, that's really a couple minutes. Okay, finally got the million dollars. We need to buy a single upgrade here, but that's going to take our income. It like tripled some things. Yep, profits of everything, 3.33. So we're suddenly making, I don't know, $50,000 a second, maybe closer to hundred. So I think we could probably afford another manager. Probably this one too, if we just wait a sec. I don't even need to leave this menu. We're going to buy Mystery Anna. So now these ones will go by themselves. They're not really making that much money yet, but that's okay. I need to get them leveled up first. I could buy 11 levels of this for 300 grand, and then at least it's making 8,300. I should probably really do that for all of them. We could take this one from 3,100 to 8,500. It makes a small difference. And it's not like I don't have the money now. And I've got another upgrade available. This is going to get my cinnamon synonyms. Uh, the pricey spicy sauce goes double value. So it's going to go from $9,200 up to about $20,000. And I guess we might as well buy Hannibal. Hannibal Bundy. He is going to make me $8,500 every six seconds. That will add up eventually. The heart boxes though are probably still the winner because they're making $18,000 and they're doing that every second. In fact, let's spend $1.4 million on upgrades. Now they're making $25,000 a second. That's an extra $7,000 every second. Should probably do the same for something like this too. Spend another $500,000. Now it's making $30,000 every two seconds. These are all worthwhile uh, investments. So I'm going to buy another three of these. We need to get it to 25, but that's going to get expensive. And I just found Lerv, which is a card for my character that has a two times boost to the base profit of notebooks which means it's now making $84,000 every three seconds. And I just realized I should probably boost this one because I could probably do it right now for 5 million. I can only buy one upgrade here and that's probably only needs to get to 150. Nope, it needs to go higher than that, my mistake. So let's double the profit of our flower business, which still isn't a superstar, but it's still $21,000 every couple seconds. And did you know I can make the meter of love work again if I click it? I'd have to wait an hour and a half, otherwise if I click it, it goes faster. But if I use an auto clicker, I can pretty much wind the time down in a couple seconds. That was easy. The meter of love is ready. So if we want this, we can press swoon. That's going to print our numbers up. Then if I touch this here, it's going to make swoon last longer. But we're currently making millions of dollars every second. And that's going to last until this runs out. I'm tapping so incredibly fast that it might not run out. We just made $20 million. I actually have such a quick auto clicker that I don't think the timer's going to run out. So we'll maybe just let it go there because we don't need to be, you know, too unfair about it. I'm just saying I'll probably cut myself off at about $38 million. But I could buy another four of those. So all I need to do is another two and we're going to get another bonus. Oh, we did get profits times uh, three again for some reason. Not really sure why. This next upgrade is going to cost $20 million by itself. The next one, 34, but it's not actually going to take us that long to get there. Uh, I just realized this one here is probably actually reasonably cheap to upgrade because it's only got to get to level 10. Uh, which is only another 7 million. I don't know why I didn't realize these were so cheap, but there's level 10, so we get another 3 times profit. And we could probably almost do the same for this one. Yeah, it's only going to be another like 50 million dollars to triple the profit again. Which uh, is getting pretty high now. I We're making millions of dollars every second, and that's growing alarmingly fast. Uh, while I'm at it, I should probably go ahead and buy the rest of the managers, because that one's only 4 million, and this one's only 7 million. Russell Bro. Everything's so valuable now, I might as well have it working by itself because that's just easy money to me. While we're at it, there's $20 million in upgrades, which quickly brings us up to $71 million we need for the pony rides. These gotta go to level like 15 though, now that I look at it. Oh, but we can actually buy the next level here. So, oh, we're already there. Oh, okay. I miscalculated that one because I'm stupid. This is the one we wanted. Another 10 levels though is going to be expensive, but we'll get there eventually. I can also just set this to buy next and then it'll tell me if I can afford to buy to the next level like this guy. We'll get him up to level 200 for $50 million. Profit goes 3.3 times faster. I could just never get enough of the big numbers getting bigger. There's officially $100 million. There's $110 million, $120 million. You get the idea. We're making like $15 million a second. And we're going to get some extra profits out of the heated seat for the Unicoach rides. That number will come back soon. All right, so buying to the next upgrades, we're going to find the cheapest one. These are in the trillions, so that's maybe out of reach. This is only 100 billion. This one's only 2 billion. This will be the next one. 
That might seem like a lot, but that's basically 10 times the money we have now and we were broke a second ago. Our original candy box that used to be a dollar per click is now about a million dollars every quarter of a second. And as we cross the $1 billion mark, we're getting very close to a really good upgrade. Being haircut, all profits times three. So whatever money we're making now, we're making three times as much. So we're easily making tens of millions of dollars per second. So we're gonna stack up to the billions we need in no time at all. And there's about the money we need for our bling upgrade, 2.343 billion to buy five levels. But that uh, again tripled our profit, that over tripled our profit. Which is good and all because the next upgrade is actually $97 billion. There's none that are cheaper. I mean, the next one here on bling costs 16 octillion dollars. For those of you that don't understand what that means, that's an unreasonably large number with like a thousand billion trillion zeros. And since this chocolate box is my highest earner so far, if I buy another 286 levels, is that going to double its income or push it up to like 15 million? It did double its income. That almost doubled my entire income because of that. Yeah, we're probably at about 200 million per second. And now that I've made myself 25 billion, I can buy an upgrade that's chocolate boxes profit times five. So that's going to take them from $17 million every fraction of a second all the way up to $85 million every fraction of a second. Which obviously has my income skyrocketing because we're making probably a billion dollars every two seconds. And that means we spent the cash we need to get the next reward which gives us a time warp. Which is probably going to be helpful because the next upgrade here costs $91 trillion. Uh, and we have about 1 20th of a trillion dollars right now, so we're going to need lots of time. I'm not really sure what to buy next, so I'm probably just going to spend another uh, 150 billion getting 100 more levels of this, which actually added quite a bit of value here. Maybe I should just do that everywhere because I'm so rich anyway. Like I could buy another 100 levels here, that's probably going to add another 50% income here, and it did. So I think this one's also going to double. Yep, that's up to 200 million dollars now. And this one's going to over double. Not that it's necessarily making us a ton, but it's now making $60 million every four seconds. When I say that out loud, it seems like a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to actually, I wanted to check to see. I forgot I would do that right away. Well, we're up to $20 trillion. How long was that warp for? Like three hours? Yeah, that was three hours of profit and gave us uh, like one fifth of what we need for the next upgrade. So at that rate, it would have taken us 15 hours to get here. For now, what I'm going to do is buy extra glitter for Valentine's profit times 5. So that's up to $400 million every half a second. I think we're going to have to resort to the meter of love for a second. I don't know what else to do. We're just going to have to swoon it up. Okay, are we ready to do this again? We're at about $20 trillion now, so we're going to swoon away. Even doing this, the number is not going up nearly as quick as I would like it to. 19.8 trillion, 19.9 trillion. We're still going to take forever to get the next one. So what I can do instead to make sure we keep going is buy a little bit of this. 45 gold bars and uh, I get a 7.77 times profit boost. So our chocolate box is now making 2.5 billion dollars every fraction of a second. And uh, we can actually do it again if we want to to get even more, so why wouldn't we? No, it's making 45 billion dollars every fraction of a second. So let's maybe help the valentines along too, just a little bit. So they're uh, also making $55 billion every fraction of a second, so that's probably going to add up not bad. While we're at it, let's just do the notebooks too. I don't see why we wouldn't. So they make $33 billion every three seconds. Uh, and then I'm going to buy the uh, notebook profit times five for $5 trillion. That's a worthwhile investment because now they make $165 billion every few seconds. And for anything to be worth our time, it's got to be earning us billions for now. Trillions would even be better. Hey, look at that, we made $100 trillion by now. Which means we can afford the $91 trillion, $92 trillion we need to get these sparkly books upgraded. Which should, uh, yeah, multiply our profits by 3.33 times. So look at these guys go, they're making $150 billion in an instant. So while we're at it, let's buy the big earner another 200 levels. That's going to uh, increase its profit by at least 25%. Then we might as well do the same with the other big earner. We're going to buy about another 100 levels, so that's going to add a third. So that should add roughly 60 billion in value. And I just realized this one's making us almost a trillion dollars every tick, which is every three seconds. Uh, if I remember, we might actually get a bonus if you get uh, gold across all of these. So we're, I'm just going to pay to upgrade everything a little bit. And I'm sure that'll have something of an increase. The ones on the right aren't going super quick, but if they have enough value, that, that might help. I didn't really mean to do that again. Uh, I accidentally bought a time warp that gave us 2.063 uh, 2 quintillion. 
so we actually skipped right over quadrillion. But we're still going to finish uh, making everything this color. Okay, so we just go ahead and put that in there. Uh, it's hard to say how much money we're making now because we have so much that that number is not going to move very quickly unless we're making a stupid amount. But we can definitely still balance this out. Well, we can buy the next upgrade here. That's only 12 quadrillion dollars, which isn't that much compared to how much we have. So that's going to uh, make our profit go up by 5.55 times. This one's only 700 trillion. That's basically pennies at this point. This one's also only trillions and this one's quadrillions again. So that actually made a small dent. That was about 10% of our money or something. But at this point, we are actually making this one by itself is over a uh, quadrillion dollars every second. We're definitely making several quadrillion dollars every second. But the next upgrades, that one's kind of close. Uh, that one's kind of close. It's still going to be a while to get there. Oh, until I realize I can still upgrade some of these. That's quadrillion. That's quadrillion. This is hundreds of quadrillion. So that's going to cut into that quite a bit. I don't think it's worth upgrading those two because they don't make a lot anyway. They're too slow. But when you prestige, you get angels. Angels give you a profit bonus, so we get 2% per angel, so we're going to get 2240% extra. And since there's no way I'm waiting through all of that, that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, and I forgot we don't even have to reset, so we can just take our profit. As long as I use up 20 gold, so we're now getting a large boost. There we go, now that number's on the move. We're making, I don't know, a couple hundred quadrillion dollars every second. And then I can still buy things like Glass Chalky. That means uh, all profits or profits times five for that guy and profits times five for him. I mean, I wasn't going to buy those, but we can afford them now. And then here's a big one. Teeth whitening. All profits times seven. We're not making seven times the money we just were and we were making a stupid amount. Okay, all that aside, we can also uh, give a 27 times profit multiplier for this planet. Just, you know, kind of to help things along a little bit. Now we're up to hundreds of quintillion dollars. This is really getting out of hand fast. And I really like it. There's our first sextillion. Then we're also going to buy the next level here. So our profits just went up by five times. Then we're going to buy that one. Then our profits went up by another five times. Now we're making a sextillion dollars every second. And if we want to restart with angels, we won't have 2,000 anymore. We'll have 190,000. Before getting to that though, let's increase our speed dating our chocolate boxes profit times nine. That's stupid. What are these making now? A sextillion dollars every fraction of a second. Look at our numbers go. When we started, this number seemed unfathomable. We wouldn't have thought we'd ever get here. But now we can buy it and we just made that money back while I was explaining it. And I kind of did forget that I can actually sacrifice angels. Uh, if I cut my angels in half, I get an all profits times three, which I think is worth it. We'll lose 2% for every angel. Uh, we're going to try that anyway because we could get more angels. Then again, why would I not just do this now? Because this number is going up not super quickly anymore. So we're going to go ahead and do this, but we're going to spend 20 gold and not do that. Now we have 1.2 million angels and that's going to reclaim itself quick. Oh, because we moved into septillions of dollars. We're making five septillion dollars every second now. I'm pretty sure this is like more than there's been of anything ever in existence. So Pepto Dismal comes with the vase. Flawless. That's just a little more profit, probably. Okay, and then we're going to sacrifice some angels. All profit times three, then all profit times four on top of that. We're going to spend 20% of our angels. Yeah, whatever. Mm, suddenly that just realized how many angels I just sacrificed. That probably wasn't the move to make. But when you have this much money, you don't need to think. You just click on stuff. There's another five times profit and another five times profit. Now we're making octillions every second. Wait, 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 there's more coming up. We're going to buy that one. There's another five times profit, five times profit. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So we're just maxed out here, I think. Yeah, because every level now is uh, technically the end. So there's no more rewards for that one. And I moved myself up to number four in the leaderboard accidentally. Wow, that person's going for it though. Uh, I also just increased my speed here thanks to a reward I just got. So this one's not even showing anymore. It's just 7.8 octillion dollars forever. Uh, I, I guess I'll just keep buying. There's another uh, eight times profit. Uh, there's another eight times profit. 90 no nillion, 100 no nillion. Can I still buy upgrades? Yeah, we've still got a few for sure. Uh, here's all profit times 11. And we're just going to buy the rest of these real quick. We've moved into decillions of dollars. How's those angels doing? So if we restart now, we'll go from a million angels to uh, 200 billion, which is kind of tempting. And we got another time warp. Great. All right, well... Let's start again with 400 billion angels instead. We don't need to restart. I'm not restarting. Uh, so already, if we want to restart again, we're going to get 100 trillion angels. 
Not that we really need them, because there's another Prophet times 7, there's another Prophet times 5, uh, Prophet times 7, Prophet times 7, Prophet times 5, and Prophet times 7 again. So I don't know what this number is, but we've got a lot of money. So as far as upgrades are concerned, we can actually buy them all. All the upgrades for individual things, and then finally, all profits times 15 for breath check. So, whatever money we were just making, we're now making 15 times more. So now that all these businesses are essentially maxed out, I think it's time to do the angel thing again. But we're going to go from 406 billion to 1.2 quintillion, so we're skipping trillions and quadrillions. Probably worth it. Uh, this number up here changed again. I don't really remember what this number means, but it's something really big. And big is an understatement. There's so many zeros on that that I don't know. I'll put it in a thumbnail or something. So one more thing we can do is start sacrificing angels. Times four profit, times four profit, times four profit. And for 77 quadrillion angels, times four profit. It's even asking me, do you want to spend? Yes, I do. Because now we're making money. But while we're at it, we can do the angel thing again. We can go from 1.2 quintillion to 25 sextillion, which is a hugely bigger number. So we just went from Octodecillion to Novemdecillion. Oh yeah, we probably crushed a few goals while doing this. Claim angels, yep, sure did that. With all this money, I can buy another 2300 levels of this. So that actually doubled its profit, which is really stupid. I'm just going to max buy everything because we can buy hundreds of levels of most things. And that's only just going to get me extra profit. Normally I create angels in different ways, but this will work. We're going to sacrifice them. We're going to be up to about 9 septillion. Which makes our numbers go even bigger, we're in Vigintillion? I don't think it really even has a name at this point. Not many people ever say that number because it's so big that it pretty much has no practical use. I do still have a time warp though. That gave us uh, two unvigintillion. It's the anti-vigintillion. The numbers stopped moving basically now. It's still going up at an alarming rate, but it's just such a big number that it's hard to keep up with itself. Uh, if I buy a few things, it knocks the number back down, so then the number starts going up again. You can't even fathom how quickly that is. We're going to create a company worth trillions of dollars, and it all starts with a simple printer, which gives us paper that we bring over to this desk. Do you know running a business is that easy? You just need a printer to print out paper, then you give it to this idiot, and then he gives you money. It just works. I'll take another stack of paper, please. This guy's not full yet. Luckily, this building comes without ceilings, so we can stack these as high as we want to. Also, give me the money. So, that little bit of effort was worth $150 so far, pretty soon we'll be able to unlock HR and a manager. But why? But since I have $200, let's go ahead and unlock another idiot with a desk. They seem to want me to uh, get HR. I don't feel like we need HR. In fact, that seems counterproductive to my normal type of business. I don't want to have to treat people fairly. I want to exploit them for everything they have and then probably murder them because that's cheaper. But now I've got two idiots uh, producing me money, so this will go twice as fast. So I'll take your stack of money and then I will also take your stack of money. think I'm going to need to automate this process pretty soon, getting a little tired of running back and forth. I'm just kidding, I was born to do this. So I'll take a little of this and a little of this and there's $700. That's enough to buy an entire HR person. Uh, apparently they're considered a helper. Okay, so now that I unlocked the HR, I need to further give them more money to get more stuff. Wait, never mind, the helper is here. So now I don't even have to carry paper anymore because that idiot is going to do it for me, but he's not very good at it. So we're going to help him out just a little to get started. If we're not making an alarming amount of money, we're not doing it right. So that stack of money is worth about $100. This stack of money is worth a couple hundred dollars. We can make the helper better, but it's going to cost us a lot of money. So he's got to earn his upgrade before he gets it. And I feel like there's not a lot of point of unlocking more of these guys because they're kind of operating at capacity anyways. More desks means we'll just struggle even more to keep up with the paper delivery. But this company's officially earned its first $1,000. That means we could buy a manager that I thought was more money than he is. But now if we spend a bit of money, we can get more upgrades for other things. So like any good boss, I'm just going to sit here for a while and collect the money while everyone else does the work for me. Because my company value is only $2,300. That's not good enough. Okay, are we rich yet? This guy's got a large stack of money. I feel like that's realistically more money than that. But since we got the money, let's unlock another one of these. Now we can get paper from two places. I never realized these uh, papers can actually run out too. So if we take them uh, away too quick, they're going to run out themselves. I've created a skyscraper of paper for that guy and their money stash is getting about full. So let's collect. I think it's $500 per stack. And we're going to use that to increase the worker's speed. That means these guys will uh, spit out the 
money even quicker so we can buy more upgrades even quicker. And we saved up another $1,700. That means our helper's speed is going to go up. Look at him go now. Eventually we can hire a CEO, which should probably be me, but we don't get to choose that yet. We've saved up another $3,000. Now we're going to get another hire altogether. Now we have two idiots collecting papers for me. Double the production. Which is good because we've been at this for a long time. We've only made $8,400. But I told these guys if they work hard enough, they can have their hair back. Another $1,800. That means we get another upgrade for the idiots. More capacity. Now they can carry more papers at once. Like good morons. That should hopefully keep the uh, paperwork guys a little bit busier than they have been. Uh, so far, it looks like they can deliver papers now faster than they can go through them. So it's time to open up another desk. There you guys go. Your reward for doing good work is even more work. The money is really rolling in now. Those last year upgrades really put it over the top. They can carry just enough paper now, I think, to keep these guys perpetually busy. Look at all the stacks of money we have now. We're going to have to step up our production again. So worker speed increase again. They'll tear through these stacks of paper ever faster for ever more profit. The company now is worth $13,700, so I still can't retire. But with this exponential growth, it shouldn't actually take that long to get to that point. It feels like I only have to look away for a second before I get a massive pile of money. But speaking of massive pile of money, let's spend it on what I think is a bigger desk. I maybe should have done this earlier because that seems very efficient. I really need to start wandering around more because these guys are going to have four idiots at their single desk producing money. So these are actually going to be much quicker than the other ones. I'm clearly going to need to buy more helpers because suddenly all these guys are falling asleep at their desk and they're not paid to sleep. I'm the only one that can make money for doing nothing. I need $6,000. And just like that, we made another $6,000, which is enough to buy an entire another person. So whenever they want to show up, they have a job. And our sorting ability is so crazy quick now that there's still half my idiots sleeping. But we're still making money at a pretty good pace, so for now, I don't care. And another $4,000 means I can increase the idiots' carrying capacity so they can carry a little more and hopefully they'll be less sleeping and more profiting. They're actually carrying some pretty big stacks now, so I'm happy about that. They're carrying the same size stacks as me now, so they're like real people. That will hopefully keep everyone else a little bit busier. I have made basically $3,000 back again already, so that was very quick. The big desk down below, as long as they have paper, basically fills their stack by the time I can come back to it. I spent another $4,000 upgrading the idiot speed, but another problem we're having is we're actually running out of paper up here. So we're gonna have to start cutting down some trees, but I'm probably also just gonna have to unlock this. Now we hopefully won't run out of paper and we'll make money ever quicker. I guess I'll buy this one now just because I can. It's only $1,200, so there's really no reason not to. Pretty sure that guy's gonna spend most of his time sleeping, but why are they piling that guy so high? What did he do to everyone? The company value value has risen to about $40,000, but I've got a lot of expanding to do. And another $10,000 is going to be spent on one single human being, so hopefully they make it worth it. And I just take the occasional stroll around, collecting all the money like a good boss. But that probably also means we can afford a few more desks. Looks like we still have a lot of sleeping idiots, so I need to upgrade my workers just a little bit more to keep all these guys going, but the money's coming in very quickly. I like this visual. I just walk around and collect the money and then I can upgrade to make even more money. And I can use all that money to buy more coffee, which in turn somehow makes me more money. I forgot we could turn up the worker speed for so cheap, so there's $4,500. I'm not going to upgrade my capacity because I don't need to do any work. I do, however, want to see what this is. So apparently this is just a vending machine that spits out money. That's probably fine. For $1,000, we can even upgrade it. I don't know if that's going to give me much money overall, but it does just spit it out. So great. These guys still seem to be kind of sleepy, so I'm going to need another worker or faster workers or both. $15,000 later, we got to increase this guy's speed and next is going to be capacity. They're at max speed and they're definitely moving along pretty quickly. We're running out of paper fairly fast. I'm really hoping that all my long slow investments here make me a little quicker in the next part but we'll find out max capacity idiots so they can definitely carry a lot of papers even over a full stack somehow uh, but we're running out of papers so we're gonna need to upgrade the paper distributor pretty sure once we do that there won't be any more sleeping bald idiots in my job the money comes in so fast now it's almost a joke but there's another paper producer, and well, since the game's giving me paper, I'll probably help out just a little bit. But I'm thinking now the paper should start to restock, so they should have everyone going once everything balances out a little bit, because they can carry a lot of paper at once, and they do move fairly quickly. It's actually just kind of stressful trying to keep up with collecting all the money. So let's give them even more to work with. There's another super desk, so that's going to be really hard to keep up with for them. Oh, it won't even let me go in that part yet. 
Mm, that's a break room anyway. These guys don't deserve breaks. $16,000 for a human? I'm not paying that much. But since my time, however, is completely worthless, that I can sacrifice for a human. So now we have the maximum amount of workers, very upgraded, carrying lots of paper to lots of idiots. These big stacks of idiots generate a lot of money, so I think it's time for the file zone. I suspect that's okay, that's going to unlock that, but I think that's going to produce files for the CEO office. Nope, that literally just unlocked this entire zone. Okay, you get back to work. Okay, he's going to slowly produce files, so I guess it's a waiting game for him. Then I've got to unlock these things for three to $8,000. Luckily, we're making lots of money up here, so it won't take long to make that much. And look at those stacks of paper up top. We're going strong. Actually, one circle of the money up top at that point was two and a half thousand dollars Basically, by the time I circle it twice, we'll have the money we need. Not that I know what this is. But we unlocked something. Hire me for this machine. Okay. Before doing that, I'm going to need some paper. Because if I'm understanding that correctly, that goes in. Okay, the files come out. I see now. So I'm pretty sure I just hired at least one guy for that. So he's going to run back and forth with these folders. I think bringing them over to here. Or something. I don't really care. As long as we're doing something, that's fine by me. I'm just going to sit around and collect money for a while. Well, I've definitely got a lot of idiots running around doing stuff now. So that makes me feel better. I'm not really sure what happens if I a file over to here they kind of just sit there so we'll unlock one of those and it's just another one of these guys oh that's where he's supposed to be but he um came over here i've gone ahead and locked them out of fun stuff forever that's the kind of crushing spirit we want so they turned the blue ones into folders i guess so that's whatever to me after standing around looking important for a little while i'm up to about thirty thousand dollars and i have no idea what to spend it on look at the size of that stack of paper and look how quickly they go through it that paper goes down so quick and the money spits right out i guess i still need a lot of those to unlock the next area. I've just been too lazy to physically carry things myself. Like even now I barely know what to do with these papers. I'm not a very good boss. So we'll trade those out for the blue things and I guess we'll put the blue things, I don't know, over here. Do I seriously have to manually carry these myself? What kind of boss am I? Okay, I got everyone there going so now I can get more blue things so I can give more blue things to him. And this thing's spitting out blue things at quite a pace so I'm actually gonna upgrade my idiot finally just to move this along while collecting bundles of money. And I can increase the worker's speed again? I forgot about that. There you go. Oh, we could do that twice if we want to. Well, we're going to carry, uh, increase our limits quite a bit. And then when we get $13,000, I'll increase their speed again, which shouldn't take long because the amount of them there are going and the amount of paper and output we have thousands of dollars goes by quick. Our company's worth over $100,000 now, so I'm almost ready to retire. But we're going to invest another $13,000 on worker speed. Do they look quicker yet? I don't know which workers sped up. Is it all of them? Is it the one carrying paper? I thought it was the ones carrying paper. Maybe that's why we're out of paper everywhere. So now I can obviously carry giant stacks of anything I want. So 200 is actually going to go by fairly quickly. As long as these stay well stocked up. And it looks like they're going to because I'm pretty sure that thing's output had been full for a while. That's why uh, it has a skyscraper of paper next to it. We have skyscrapers of everything right now, but we can get through that fairly quickly. Uh, another stack, we went from 74 down to 29, so we can carry a lot of blue things at once. And apparently we can carry different things at once if we accidentally picked the wrong stuff up. Luckily it sorts itself out. Is this enough to be done? Can we have a CEO now? Yeah, we can. Would you like this last one? Because I feel like I shouldn't be carrying this around. I'll make one of these guys turn it into money. Thank you, sir. Okay, it's really hard to walk anywhere and not pick something up. So I'm going to very carefully try and... Never mind. Okay, we're just carrying the blue book for a while. You have work to do. Not really. Everyone else has work to do. Is this... Is this the same thing again? This one's spitting out blue... F somethings. Okay, you want microchips now. Do we make more money over here? I think we make more money over here. Uh, and I'll be honest, I make more money on the other side, so you do that for a while. I'll come back when I can afford some stuff. For now, we'll unlock HR. I don't know if we get a free idiot for that or not. I don't really care right now. For now, I'm just going to go around collecting a lot of money, and then when we have a bunch, we're going to move over there and automate everything in a hurry. This guy just came and grabbed me. I can carry devices. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. All right, well, I'm going to wait right here for a little bit until the money stacks up. It really doesn't take long at all. We're a little bit out of paper, but we've got tons of money to collect. Not sure what these guys down here are doing. I really need to remember not to collect all that stuff. But if we carefully walk around, we can drop these here and then get out of this area entirely. So that means I've got $19,000 to spend and a stack of this is worth $6,000. I know I literally just said how much money I had, but I forgot right away. 
So I spent $2,000 on that one and maybe $6,000 on this one. Then let's hire another idiot. And then they're both going to sit here working away for a little while while I wait for these guys to fill back up again. I probably should buy a worker first, a manager. You know what? Let's take a little shortcut. Let's take their speed and capacity up. Okay, that was done. So these guys should hopefully be making me lots of money. I thought their stacks were more than this, but maybe they need to pile up a little more. I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. These ones, however, always pile up. These guys are really efficient on this side. I wonder how much money we're going to need on the other side. I guess that doesn't really matter, considering I built a business off basically doing nothing. Like, I don't even know where income comes from. These guys just spit money out for some reason. But we got $40,000 to spend, and they're clearly a little bit short on these things, so those guys can have another one of those, and I guess we'll take another idiot. And while we're at it, I might as well buy one of these super desks, because I assume that's the same as the other side, and it's just going to spit out money faster than anything ever. So let's increase the speed of the guys sitting at the desks, and and also the carrying capacity of the idiots on the floor. That should help make me lots of money using the blue parts. Our company's value is up to $200,000. That's a $25,000 upgrade. Board member? I want to be a board member. Okay, these guys can actually fill this up pretty quick now, so that's a good sign. And we opened up another desk to hopefully keep the idiots just a little busier. Hmm, well, we're at it. All right, I added a few little upgrades, so hopefully now these idiots are going to be moving along quite a bit faster. They've definitely got a lot of blue things to be working through, so I'm going to go ahead and collect money on the other side for a sec. Because I'm pretty sure, yep, all of these are going to be absolutely ready to go with paper stack to the moon. I'm not sure how much I had before I walked into this room, but we now have $14,000 and the stacks have already replenished themselves. And a few other small piles of money later, we have about $20,000 to spend, so let's maybe unlock this one because it's going to be a quick one. And we're still going to need the laptop zone for $24,000. That's expensive. But nothing's too good for me and my ambitions. We still have so many blue things. How did I end up carrying some of these? Get over there. But our sorters are working pretty quickly, so this should translate into lots of money before too long, hopefully. I mean, I guess when I do need money, I just need to walk 100 meters to the next building. Because this one always has lots of money. And look at how high this paper stack is. I don't even know if it has a top anymore. Clearly we didn't wait as long as last time. There's only $10,000 to be gained this time. I'm going to increase my collect speed. I hope that counts for money now that I think about it. I was just annoyed that I had to stop and wait for the stacks of money. Money is starting to stack back up again. We have $55,000 thanks to this area really starting to pay out. This guy needs to work faster. Okay, I think we're actually running out of blue things, so we're going to have to go ahead and buy one of these, which is very expensive, but whatever, we need the production. Then I'm going to buy the laptop zone, because that's going to give us access to all of this, which is all very expensive, but we're going to need it. And we need this guy to get to work also. All I need is $15,000. We have $14,000 now, so that's not going to take long to do. We're already halfway there. And we've got it. That's going to get us one of these, which... Makes me put this guy back to work. Also, I could be taking these and putting them in here now and where I get the thing to be a board member, which is black binders. Okay, so I got these guys working now. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to stack some of those up, but they should be spitting out the black binders we need to get the... Uh, other thing we want. Whatever, it kind of makes sense in my head. Only 592 more to go. But I think they probably do spit out at a pretty good rate, so I'm going to help these guys just a little bit. And I just realized my stack size doesn't apply from the other side to this side, so we got to upgrade that. All right, well, things are happening. I'm going to run around and just collect a little more money simply because I can. That's better. Look at how many of these things I can carry at a time now. So we'll be able to load up this machine fully and then take the other things out fully, which will take us a long ways closer to that, but it's still going to be a minute. So for the next few minutes, I'm basically doing this. Loading this thing up, taking things out, carrying them over. Look at how fast these guys print out money though. Like if I take their stack away, it basically reappears within a few seconds. And I've gathered another $40,000 to put into this one. That way we can also be using this to produce these things. And this one's very much nice and close, so I can just run back and forth pretty much continuously. We're now at the point where we've kind of got more money than I know what to do with. I make it so quickly that I don't really want to bother to buy anything. I've got one goal in mind. This might be the final stack I need to finally get to the board member. Nope. So that obviously this stack is going to be the one. We're seven short. Pretty sure this is seven. And we did it. The door is open. You can have this as a tip, sir. And apparently that just leads us into logistics department. And the great irony is that I thought doing lots of good work would get me somewhere other than doing more work again. So if I was going to mine for oil, I'd go next to the biggest numbers. And so would every other idiot on the planet because there's probably oil here. So did we do good or did we do bad? Let's put a dowser and a mole down. Well, idiot did find oil already, so hopefully it's a really big easy pocket. 
pocket. That's a medium sized pocket, we'll take that. And then three horses and a bigger pipe because we'll get that oil out of the ground right away. The mole found some more over here. We're gonna upgrade that twice to put those horses to work good and fast. I just realized we're already pumping oil too fast. If the horses have to go to either side, we're gonna spill some. We're probably gonna spill a lot. So while we're at it, let's just send one little horse over there to dump off some oil. The other three should hopefully keep the level down until I can get more horses or upgrades. Uh, we're already about to spill some oil, so let's let that go. Okay, guys, fill up there. I think we'll be okay. Also, my reservoir is getting full. Okay, I've already really misplayed this. Everyone, go dump your oil. We're just gonna have to spill some oil, and that's okay. Sometimes all this needs to be spilled, and then we're gonna make that bigger. It really is pretty impressive how quickly we can get oil out when the pipes are fully upgraded. Uh, so yeah, you guys go sell some oil, because I need to make a new thing to see how big the oil over here is. We're gonna do a little scan. Hopefully this isn't too wasteful. I don't know if this ground is gonna be super productive. So, while we're waiting, let's put another dowser down, maybe on this side, and then a mole somewhere in the area. Maybe a mole over here, and then we'll hope that some oil turns up somewhere. He did manage to find some somewhere, hopefully near the surface. Okay, that's not bad. We can work with that one. While we're at it, we're going to stop sending oil for that price. We're going to send all of that oil over there for a dollar something. And um, we're going to need that money anyway. So there we go. There's a couple grand. Now we're selling for over a dollar twenty. We're going to upgrade that pipe one more time, because we're just going to sell everything we can for those kind of prices. We're even going to upgrade the horses. Dollar thirty-seven, dollar forty. That's pretty good for just random prices. Take advantage of that, and then we'll figure out what to do with the rest of our fortune, if anything. I think I see some oil over here. So we'll do a fairly big scan just because we can uncover a big area. That's a tiny bit of gas. All right, let's put a dowser. A couple dowsers because we need to figure out. They're probably going to hit this because they're stupid. Keep in mind at this point, I did pay $10,000 for this ground. So we better find some oil or I made a bad choice. Yeah, he found the oil we already found. So, uh, you know, props to him for being a good dowser. I'm going to reveal all of this. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, do you think there's oil down there maybe? Okay, so I'm going to feed everything just straight through this because I don't really have time to screw around with anything else. Then I'm going to put this here so we can store all the oil we, we might want out of there. Then I'm also going to upgrade this. At least we only have oil pumping to one tower right now. So we'll send one more dowser to hopefully find some more oil somewhere. There might be a big pocket sitting here. There is one down here apparently, so there might actually be a good size one hiding still that's a pretty good size area well it's not huge but i'll take it oh also we'll take whatever this artifact is we'll put the moles to work we did finally find some magma down there but we don't have the money to drill into it right now so i'm going to send one wagon of oil over that way just in case we're going to need more storage and stuff anyway so and there's not a lot of gas so we're going to have to take advantage of whenever the price gets this high all the horses are going to go over there couple whoops we're going to upgrade the wagon so they move faster so we stop spilling oil but yeah, for that price, just take it over there now. Oh, actually, the other side's higher. Never mind, everyone to the left. Quick as you can. Faster. $1.40. Oh, don't spill any oil, though. That gets expensive. $1.50 even. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen prices naturally that high, though I do have a very short memory. There we go. We did at least make profit so far. $1.47, $1.44. Wow, we're making really good money on this bad area. Okay, so I don't really know what to do now. I do have $22,000 in the thing. I'm going to upgrade this one just to make sure we get that oil. Then I'm going to put a few little moles down at the bottom just to see if there's any more little pockets of oil hiding out there and it very much doesn't look like it so we'll just kind of um wait here until winter time okay it's getting into november i think the left is going to go up higher again so we'll just dump it wait wait we have a little bit of time we don't need to rush this let's see what side is going up more the right side's actually running it now slightly dollar 30 ish we'll just we'll settle for that for all this oil that's as good as it gets and that's actually still pretty good i'm not going to complain with that Twenty-seven thousand dollars, and we got all the oil because it was all nicely compacted in the middle. Spilled sixty-five hundred dollars in oil. Mother Nature can take one for the team. Profit-wise, we still manage second place, and we need to fight these idiots for the stock options. I can't remember how this works. Here's twelve thousand dollars. I mean, I have more money than the other idiots. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Try thirty-five. Okay, she's playing hardball. We're up to thirty-eight. I don't have anything else to spend my money on anyway, so yeah, good luck outbidding me. And just like that, I'm up to a twenty percent share. So the last one was a twenty-nine for oil. The other people had as high as a thirty-six. So we're gonna try an area down there. There's a lot of the mid-thirties around us. That's gotta be good ground. So let's do a mole and a dowser again. Between the two of them, they'll hopefully find something. Okay, he already found something plus a fossil, so that's not bad. That's a lucky start. It's just. What kind of oil do we have to work with? One pretty good sized deposit. I could live with that. So we'll throw down three horses. We'll maybe bring them to the left right away because that's a pretty good price. We won't upgrade the pipes yet because the horses can't keep up with that. We'll maybe upgrade the ho well. Yeah, we'll upgrade the pipes once because I'm impatient. And already we got to switch sides because the price is better on the right side. 
But we're still going to make really good money. That startup capital is important so we can explore better. I'm going to upgrade that one more time at a horse and better wagons. Because we can get all that oil dumped out for $1.30 already. And I figure I might as well just be efficient with it now. Because it doesn't seem to be a lot of gas in this ground to inflate the prices. And we won't sell any more for that. But look at that money already. So let's send a dowser down either side. We definitely need some exploration out on that ground. So we're going to put... Six moles out for $600. They should explore quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to do a little scan each. I don't know what he found. I don't know what the other guy found. I don't want to waste too much money scanning around everywhere. I'm just trying to figure out where the oil actually is. So we're going to tie into the magma, then into that one, then down there. We'll even take a little look at how big this one is exactly. Because that's a pretty good size. That's definitely worth tying into. So we're going to upgrade a few pipes. Then I'm going to tie the silo together so we have lots of storage room. Then we're going to upgrade a few of these. Also for $1.30, you better believe we're going to be selling a lot of that oil. Don't spill. More horses. We got horses. Yeah, there we go. So $1.30 on the left, only 50 cents on the right. Okay, we still need more. Okay, we need quicker, bigger, better horses. Can you guys stop spilling oil, please? Anyways, we have $5,000 in the bank, plus some oil to get out of the ground still, plus whatever that guy's sitting on. Hopefully right here, and hopefully it's massive. Whoops, didn't mean to click, but that's a good size. I wonder if there's any more oil around that one, because that's a big deposit. I don't know the best way to do this. I'm just going to connect straight to there. Hopefully that reaches. Not really seeing any more pockets of oil in the ground. Um, not that I'm upset about that. I feel like we've got lots as it is. And in fact, we've got so much right now that I need another silo maybe two. Better have too much than too little. We're pumping oil so quickly too, we actually uh, drained the other deposits already. But we did fill up a super silo, so we got lots sitting in there. Actually, now that I'm here, I think I see an oil deposit way down there. So we're going to do a little scan. I've got $1,000 of exploration money. That's not a big deposit. It's going to cost $526 just to get there. So we'll do it. Uh, and then for $1.30 on the left, you better believe we're going to throw some horses at that. Okay, everyone go and yeah, leave that completely unattended. I wish they organized themselves better. Like, who's steering this ship? $1.35, everyone can get it. Oh, there is more oil over there too on the other side. Interesting. Okay, so we're, while they're all doing that, let's see if we can find what this guy is whistling about. We're going to do a few scans. We should be able to find it fairly quickly. And hopefully it's enormous. Well, that's not bad if that's what he's whistling about. We're going to throw a few moles down because his ground does seem to be unreasonably good. And while I was doing that, my thing is about to overflow again. But we lost our dollar prices, so let's wait. Okay, we got this one all nicely tied in too, so we're going to do some upgrades. Going to upgrade one while continuing to pump from the other. Then once that one's done, we can upgrade these ones. Now we basically just wait and store whatever oil is left. I'm going to throw another dowser down just in case there is more oil out there. Two dowsers. And then as soon as oil hits a dollar, a dollar ten on one side, we're just going to dump it all for that. So left side looks like it's going to be the winner right now. Dollar ten... Is it going to do it? Yeah, it'll go up. We'll take a dollar ten, because we can dump a lot of oil off for that. 19 horses carrying all that oil. Dollar twenty would be better, dollar thirty better, but we're going to take advantage of whatever we got when we got it. Dollar ten. the right side's moving up, but the right side missed out. I've got to take a price when I see it, I can't wait. I'm going to feel really stupid if I sat here this entire time and there's still oil in the ground. $35,000 is good profit, but if there's more... Well, and we got all the oil and look at all that gas. There's like four millimeters of it. And we got bonuses for not spilling any oil like idiots. And we definitely got the good ground there. Okay, we have one more pick on this area before moving on to another good area. I think I'm going to take this top spot. It's probably the safest bet. But any number can change very abruptly. For example, there's a 64 basically next to an 18. Maybe I should just use an army of moles from now on. Maybe I should do the dowser first and then the moles or maybe no moles at all. There's so many questions and so little time to care. But idiot found what's hopefully a massive deposit of oil, so we'll take a big look there. That's not bad. A little bit deeper than I would have liked, but um, that's okay. He's not that smart. And if we're quick, we can take advantage of some good prices on the left. So we'll start sending those over there right away for some quick easy money, though not very much yet. We need bigger pipes. But also we can't pump oil too fast or we're going to overwhelm the horses because they're very overwhelmable. But for those prices, let's do one more upgrade and upgrade the horses and get some oil going. $1.30 still. Yeah, we could take advantage of some quick easy oil. We're even going to buy another horse. We'll do this until we're like under a dollar. That's going to get us some money for sure. Okay, that gave us 2,500 more dollars to work with. It's dowser time. And mole time. The dowsers can't go super deep, so I should be doing the moles deeper. Okay, we have coincidental oil strikes. Both very far away from my oil tower. So let's put a mole over here to try and find this idiot. And a mole here for this idiot. And we're going to scan the one that's closer. Hopefully it's right here. That's a pretty good size one. I could live with that. We'll also tie this one into the magma for $300, which is a little expensive, but I can live with that. I just realized my silos definitely need some upgrading. 
trading. Okay, so we're going to put just one horse going to the left right now for a little bit of money coming in and to free up some room in the silos. But that's better already because I can do big upgrades. The right side, however, could probably be dumped off. We could even spend a thousand dollars investment right now on the horses just so they can take all that over there in a really big hurry. There we go. Seven thousand dollars to work with now. So let's combine that because we assume we're going to find, find more oil. And we'll do a scan for... Oh, I see the oil already. This was kind of dumb. Well, we'll do a big scan then just to see what's down there. It's always fun to open up and see. How much does it cost? Take two thousand dollars for the whole thing? That wasn't worth it. But um, while we're at it, we might as well. 480. It's probably cheaper just to do it this way. It looks stupid, but whatever. And we hit a rock. So let's spend not $750 because we can just go around that oil. We can go there and then there. I'm going to upgrade these all to... Uh, I guess I probably should have just gone... Well, whatever. Again, we don't have to be smart here. We just need to mine oil eventually. And we're going to send down the mole army one more time because we have the money to do so. I think it's pretty safe to say there's not any significant oil uh, out there anymore because the moles have pretty much torn up all of that ground. But we do have over a dollar on the right, so we're probably going to dump our oil off for that because sometimes you just got to get what you get. I've even added a few horses for this little adventure. We're getting oil done so early these days. I don't know if we're getting good at the game or just being lucky. It's only October and we're going to have all of this oil out. Definitely not a ton of profit, but I'm happy... 13,000 is easy. We've been making good money, so no need to push it. Oh, I just realized that Dowser over here did actually find something. Was it big? What do you got for me? Nothing there. I'm now worried there's going to be a really big deposit. Uh, that's big enough that I'm kind of mad I missed it. Well, whatever. We got to leave some in there for the next time. Or maybe it'll turn back into dinosaurs. Okay, everyone had a bad round. I made the most money by bar uh, compared to some of my idiots. So now we're into the mountains and uh, the Amish man is showing me where the oil is because he has an oil detector. In the stock auction I haven't been showing you because it's not exciting but that lady does bid as much money as I have so she gets a 5% share. I like this background already. I could have that in a painting. Anyways we better get to work because there's a lot of oil here. So we're going to start by finding a single deposit wherever that might be. I see one down there. Okay there's a lot of oil over there too. I don't actually know which one to chase first. Uh, I guess we'll just see what he's got because there's probably oil everywhere. Everywhere. So really quick, that's not huge, but we'll take it. Okay, so we're going to put a storage beside that. We're going to buy three horses to get us going, and they're going to take oil to the left right away just because I need money constantly coming in on this one, just because I'm going to need lots of exploration. So we're going to upgrade this pipe and the storage a little bit. Going to buy a couple more horses to cope with that volume. Okay, we already ran out of that deposit, but we took the money for it. So we've tapped into this one. We're going to upgrade that pipe to full bore. We're going to stop selling our oil for a minute because that's cheap. It's only March, but I still feel like we have a lot of oil to find. So I put down just a few more moles. But the right price is coming up pretty good. So I'm actually going to throw a lot of horses over that way suddenly. We're going to buy some more to help cover that. Uh, but that's going to be some easy money for profit. We're even going to upgrade the horses. I'm just eyeballing these big deposits here and um, daydreaming already about how much money we're going to make off those. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is just build a proper mega silo just so I know how much room because now I can put an oil thing here. And and we're going to have to ship off some oil for pretty cheap because I need to get that next tower started. So we'll put you there and that's going to go to there. That way by the time that deposit runs out, that one starts rolling. That worked out pretty good. And now that we're over a dollar again on the left, I feel like we're probably going to dump out a whole bunch of oil there for that. Just to get us more money to get more oil out of the ground in a hurry. Dollar ten, dollar ten. Okay, we have five grand. That's lots. Now we drill straight over here. We're going to upgrade this. We're going to build another uh, silo here for storage. I'm also going to hire a dowser man, but put him over here. That way he doesn't get a false signal there. And we're going to put some more moles down. I need to find more oil. See, he already found more over here somewhere. I should just be scanning instead of using moles. It's quicker and more efficient. When I know there's lots of oil in the ground, it's worth it. Look at all that. Mole, grab the gold nugget. You're going to get the drill, so you're going to grab that and then that. Then I'm going to upgrade these pipes because there's a lot of oil everywhere and I'm starting to stress out. It's July. I've got to get all of this oil out of the ground. Uh, we have a little over a dollar here. I need some money, so let's upgrade the horses and take some of that money. That's hopefully going to give us a few grand. There's still tons of oil in the ground, so I've just got to keep getting it out no matter what. In fact, I'm going to dump the rest of the oil out for under the normal price because I want to do a couple scans. One scan's going to be down here because I'm pretty sure I'm seeing a lot of oil. We can do like a $900 scan there. Okay that's actually like one massive mega deposit. And we're going to do a scan over here to see what's hiding over here. So we'll go a little bit bigger on this one. We've got more money if we need it. So let's spend it all on a scan. Okay. It's not a ton of, like, not a huge amount of deposits, but they're very big. And those ones are pumping at capacity right now. The only thing I could do is tie them into magma, which I will. The price on the left is coming up nicely, so I think we're going to take advantage of that for sure, because it's going to be hard just to get this oil, like, 
sold because there's a ton of it left. I might just have to continually sell from this point forward. But also I'm going to tie into that and then can I tie these together for the magma? Is this going to be a bad idea? It might be a bad idea, but I don't care. Everything tie in. Okay, all the horses dumping oil. We're going to bring more horses in. More horses. I don't know if this is going to work. So I'm just going to continually dump off to whatever side has more oil. Because so far the left, but the right side's coming up. So let's switch to that. The magma definitely worked. Like it's definitely, uh, oh, I didn't need to upgrade that one. But it's definitely magmaized the whole production line. Price on the right is dropping below a dollar, but where it's already the end of October. So they're just going to keep going. We don't have enough time to store and wait for the price. We just got to pump, pump, pump. In fact, I'm even going to do something rather peculiar. I don't know if that actually speeds it up or not. It does give the oil another outlet to get out of there because I don't want to leave all that there. And then we're going to do that one more time and buy like a million horses. We're just going to have to take whatever price we get. I guess we did need more horses. They can only take the oil as fast as we can pump it out of the ground. But they'll just have to keep going and going and going. It's already December, so we're not going to get all of this out. That's a shame. There really was a lot of oil in this one, though. I thoroughly enjoyed this level. But we got most of it. I mean, $33,000 profit is not bad at all. 35. Yet I was still outgunned by this man. Okay, he just did way better with his ground. I had better ground, he just made his work better. That's not a big surprise, so I'm gonna go somewhere between the two. I don't really actually know if this is the way the oil works, it seems to. Like there's big numbers here, they get big here, then they go low here, so definitely stick to the area around the good oil. I want that spot. Do you want to see how to win an auction? The bidding starts at $1,000, but if we go say... 36. I don't think anyone's going to want to outbid me. Perfect. Okay, let's do it again and make some money. Everyone go. Okay, I already found a deposit. I don't want that guy to signal on... Hmm. Well, we saved a little bit of money this time. I don't know how big that deposit is, but the point is I didn't need to scan this time. And oil prices already aren't really that great, but we might sell some to the left side just for easy money. Because they're coming up to about a dollar, so I might as well take advantage of that for a second. And then I can find out what the other idiot is signaling on. While they're doing that, let's upgrade the pipe to get that oil out a little bit quicker. Okay, let's do a little scan for idiot stick over here. Hopefully he's found something amazing. We're going to do a pretty big scan because I feel like this ground is going to be worth it. Just once we know it's down there, we can make an accurate, yeah, assessment. So this one's kind of annoying because there's a lot of dots to connect. Um, I might change that up, but for now we've got all that oil. And I think for that one, I'm actually going to space out properly. So horses go to the right for a second. Um, there's lots of oil coming in. I'm going to put another oil thing here. I'm also going to send them all down for that piece. But I think in order to make this work, I'm going to have to put a dowser down over here to find oil while we wait. But also we're going to have to put another oil tower. When it's basically exclusively for the big pocket down below. Because the sooner we can tie into that, the sooner we can be in the profit. Hopefully that reaches. I think it should. Yep, perfect. Now let's do a quick scan for what idiot's got over here. That way we can start planning for what our next maneuver is. Uh, $627. Let's go a little bigger. I just don't want to miss anything. We're watching a scan grow as our profit does. Okay, good enough there. What do we got? That's a lot of oil. Okay, so everyone go to the left now. Uh, we're not pumping oil at a super quick rate, but we're pumping it fast enough. I'm going to upgrade the horses pretty quick just so they can move that oil quicker. Then we're going to upgrade all those pipe sizes. So there's the bigger horse uh, thing. Uh, what's the best way to do this now? We're going to add a few more horses. We're going to upgrade this for sure. I'm going to upgrade all of these actually because we need that oil coming out way fast. I'm probably just going to continually sell right now just because I need that oil out. A couple more horses. We're going to upgrade that. That's maybe a bad idea, but whatever. Then we're going to put all the horses actually going. So 70 cents, 70 cents. We're starting to almost overfill. So let's add a few horses. Let's cut that off for a sec. So let's do this. And that's going to also go to that and that. Then we also need some big storage for all of this oil. So once they go there. Yep, this will work out. We'll make the horses even better. We'll put more horses. And then we're going to upgrade all the pipes everywhere so that oil can actually come out, out of the ground. I didn't need to upgrade that one. The best part is I think there's probably still lots of oil, hopefully, in the ground. So we're going to do another big scan in the middle. We're going to go big with this scan. We might as well. We're making lots of money. Yeah, that's like a stupid amount of oil. So we're going to try and tie into that if we can. That also makes you want to scan over here. There's no gap. Whoops. Damn, that was a waste of a scan. That's okay. I misclick a lot. But we're going to make this one bigger. I'm actually going to tie this one into this one just to uh, pressurize that. And we're going to go for all that oil. Then also, these are, he's still detecting there's something down there we haven't even found yet. There's so much oil on this. But I've magmaized the whole thing. 
Okay, that one's not huge, but I'm glad he signaled that. Okay, now let's try and find the weak links amongst the big oil patches. That needs to be better. This needs to be better. This needs to be better. They all need to be better. Okay, I think we've got all the oil tied in. So for now, I'm just going to wait until the prices are actually good. They're just going to fill the silos wherever they can. Uh, we need more horses because we've got a lot of oil coming out of the ground. Please don't spill. So we've already made about $7,000. We just got to get the rest of the oil out of the ground, then uh, sold for a good price. Okay, apparently I'm going to need more horses. Okay, guys, take your oil and put it somewhere. I don't even know what's happening. We have like an oil jam the whole screen is black stop spilling oil please okay you know what six horses go take your oil somewhere okay i i think i see the problem we just have too many horses sitting with full oil right now so 93 cents on the left oh we're gonna spill so much oil this is gonna be bad Okay, hold on. We've cleared a little bit of room. So yeah, we've emptied out one silo basically. It's already November, so we might just have to take these prices. Okay, the price on the right is going up. We have 25 horses to do this with. We're at a dollar now. Uh, hopefully it continues to go up, but we're just going to take it the average of whatever this is. There's a dollar 10 now. A little more. The horses can dump the oil out really quick, but we have like less than a month left. So hopefully they get that all out. That's pretty good. We're up to 50 grand. They'll dump it out. That'll probably put me up to 60, 55. I'll take that. I think we actually got out of the oil, and I'm really glad of that because there was a lot. <laughs> well, we spilled $20,000 of it, but we made $36,000 still. Uh, so he's obviously doing something really good. He made more money than me regardless of whether or not I spilled. So we still need to work on our methods. Come back every day for another bag of money. Sure. $10. Oh, okay, great. Free money. I'll take it. A literal money tree. Just what I need. It's called Super Life because we're going to be super rich. Now our class is very important. We want rich. Start the game with $2,000. That's important. What's not important is Grandpa's Ranch, where old people go to die. So at least we have that to look forward to. Also, we get a free extra $100 right away. Okay, I did the thing and you smell musty. Can we go now? The plan is very simple. We're going to make as much money as possible in as little time as possible. Using the bank. Right away, we get 2% per day. Luckily for us, we have $2,100. Which might not seem like a lot at first, but that's still $21 every day just for sleeping. You should go inside and get some sleep. No you. Dad, why are you standing in the neighbor's driveway? No, he wants me to get a job. All he does is stands in a neighbor's driveway. You need to get off my back, old man. Plus two experience. But also, yeah, we're gonna get a job right away. Slimmy Sams, give me the work. This is important for a few reasons, mostly because it's gonna make us money, which can be used to buy more energy, and then... That energy used for more work, for more money. Also, it's right beside the bank. So every day after doing just that, I deposit my next 84, 100, whatever dollars, get the interest. I'm proud of you. Here's 20 bucks. Only 20? Okay, here's nothing. Guess I overplayed my hand. For the time being, this is all I'm going to do until that 2% interest is making me thousands of dollars a day. I'm not interested in anything else. Day 8 and I'm already at $3,000. 50% more than when I started and it's been a week. In case you're wondering why I'm buying soda instead of the chips to replenish my energy, that's because soda also gives me experience, which is important for leveling up. And once I do eventually level up, I will make even more money per hour. It's not a huge deal for me right now, but we'll get there. Day 15, one week later, we're up to 4079 I understand that if you're out of money and energy, you can shake a vending machine, which will give me apparently one bag of chips. That simply gave me one extra energy that I can use for one extra hour of work. Great. Another week has passed, we're up to 5134, so we're making about $1,000 per week and that number is gradually growing. Already, after only four short weeks, our job is making us $92 a day and the bank interest is making us about $120 a day, so the bank interest is making more. So that seems like a good time to upgrade our job to make even more money on that side of things, which simply means sacrificing some of my hard-earned money. Always go for the personal trainer, better bank for your buck. Only need to do that a few more times and then the same thing with the school. And just like that, strength is done. School is a little more annoying thanks to its restricted hours, but it's done now too. Which means we can level up and we get 5 coins, which gives us a solid $11 an hour. Next step, Sandwich Artist. We also have an odd quest to play 2 lotto tickets, which will obviously be super rewarding. 1 and 2. Outstanding. The scratches are obviously luckier. Hey there we go, I doubled my money. Just for good measure. I get a feeling those don't pay out very often. But our reward for playing the lotto is $50. I need to pay more attention to those. That's easy money. And that's the guy that was telling me to get a job. Day 50, our bank is making us almost $200 a day in interest already. And since it's already making us considerably more than our job, I'm going to sacrifice a few days to upgrade our job one more time. Level 3, another 5 coins. While we're up here, what does this idiot want? Death sticks. Our level 3 promotion has us up to $12 an hour. Wait. When did my interest rate change? It was 2% before, now we're getting 1%? That might have to do with the amount of money in there. Another lotto quest? 
Easy money. $75 for that one. And by the way, here's your death sticks. Thanks, my dude. So can I have your skateboard? This ain't that game. Here, you can have my old running shoes. Thanks. And he wants more crap. Well, before I commit to that, let's see if the running shoes are actually good for anything. Like hopefully moving faster. The interest, it turns out, changes at $5,000 in the bank. It switches to 1%. So I'm just going to have to live with 1% interest for the time being. Good news, the interest rate doesn't go down after $15,000. I was worried it would. Day 76, making over $150 a day just off interest. Oh good, that guy's shoes did actually make us faster. Somehow, someway, we've unlocked a pillow from Ikea. That means we can wake up one hour earlier. That's an extra hour to make money. I'm also going to buy a one hour energy because plus two intellect when you go to school. So that works out to an extra $10 or an extra two intellect. Intellect, which isn't actually worth it unless you're in a hurry because you're only paying seven and a half dollars for intellect normally. While well, I'm on my mission, I'm going to keep giving that idiot whatever he wants, hopefully make me faster. Or energy drinks. So what does my $60 buy me? Wait, you thought I would pay you back? No, I just want your shoes. Make me faster. Here's a tip. Try sneaking into movie theaters. That's very useless. At least I think it is because I'm not sure there's a movie theater here yet. And with this, level 4. I'm hoping that gives my salary a considerable jump. We're up to $14 an hour so it jumped up $2. Eat 3 sandwiches. The reward for spending $36 is... $100. Since our salary seems to be making some jumps, I'm actually going to withdraw a few hundred dollars. And we're going to see what level 5 gets us, because we'll be the manager. Level 5. Graduated from high school. Now we're really going places. $16 an hour. General manager apparently is max level, whatever that's supposed to mean. Reward for drinking 3 sodas, $125. That is giving money away. Already it's day 100. So between the $170 I make at my job and the $220 I get in interest, I'm making almost $400 a day already. That's more than you'll ever make. Wish I had a better dad. And apparently I ranked up just for playing 100 days if I'm understanding that correctly. And who knew that there was even other areas to go and explore? Angus McDangus. These look like fun. All I really want right now are shoes to make me move faster. Need more for shoes. This looks more like what I'm looking for. Why can't I buy these? We can sneak into the movie theater. Uh oh. Just kidding. No, we can't. Get lost, criminal. Shut up, Jeff. This could be our very first house. Market value 103,000, down payment 10,000. Not just yet, we need our money to make us more money before we're gonna do something like that. As fun as this is, it's not making me any money. I am paying respects, this is how I do it. So houses do vary in price. This one takes a $100,000 down payment with a market value of 500000 A man with a goatee in the dark. What more could I ask for? Why would anyone ever leave this tree? What's so special about this tree? It is the provider. Okay, this here's my table. You can sleep on the one next to mine. No thanks, psycho. You got a dollar? Somehow I actually don't. But we can actually sleep on the table. Oh, okay. We wake up at 12 p.m. We sleep in when we do this. This part of the map does seem a little bit more advanced and might be better for my purposes. I need to compare the two to figure out which one's going to make me more money. Which means finding out how much places pay. This one's $17 an hour, so I like it. I'm also going to give the homeless guy in the park money just because I can. Eventually, he's got to give me something good. $100? You got it. The end is near. Well, hopefully for you it is. For the time being, I'm going to embrace the park bench life. I do wake up later, but it's close to everything. I guess this is the tree he was talking about? Come back every day for another bag of money. Sure. Ten dollars. Oh, okay, great. Free money. I'll take it. A literal money tree. Just what I need. Well, the tree works great. All I gotta do is pick a bag of money every day and it gives me some amount. Always pretty good. After realizing just how long it takes to run back and forth over here, I'm actually going back to this area and Slippy Sam's. Plus, with the extra sleep I get in an actual house, I do make more money anyways. I just realized for the first time that there's actually a lot more of this map to be exploring. Like a hedge maze. Which had better reward me with a large amount of money for the amount of time it's going to take to walk through this. That looks promising. And we get a bronze key. I wonder if that's used to open a chest. Also looks like Idiot Stick wants something else. Hopefully he'll give me more speed. I very patiently made my way all the way to day 161. That means at 1% we're currently making $540 every day just on interest. Which means it's probably faster to skip the bank every day. The interest is piling up there so fast anyway, it's not really worth my time to walk over there and individually deposit money every single day. I can just go like this. Once it's 7 o'clock, I can go back to bed. I'm going to make the most money the quickest this way for now. Because the fastest way for me to make money is to get through these days as quick as possible. And I will still stop by and make deposits every, say, $5,000 or something just to make sure it does still accumulate interest. Day 200. Let's see how much interest has accumulated. We're up to 81000 plus what I have on me, so we're up to 85000 So that means just in the interest currently, we're making $856 a day. Day 220, and if my guesstimation is correct, we're up over $100,000. So now I'm 
already making $1,070 per day at level 5. I wonder how much money is considered a lot in this game, like a ridiculous amount, to the point where you can just kind of do anything you want any old time and it just doesn't matter. Some perspective. In the past 30 days, my job has earned me $4,800. My interest has earned me almost 10 times as much, we're up to $145,000. Job makes $4,000. Interest makes $40,000, and that number's growing every single day. So now we're earning $1,500 a day, just interest. And a big coin reward for getting 250 days. I've been alive only 300 days, barely finished high school, and already found way more success than you. Just give up now. You failed. In the past 50 days, we've earned $8,000 from our job, and a lot from interest. I want to say that was about $100,000 worth of interest, so we're making 10 times as much of interest as our job. We're now making $2,500 a day. So in the past 20 days, I've made $60,000. And that's not too bad. But I think it's also maybe time to reinvest in my education. Because I want more shoes. You know what? These have probably been available to me this whole time. I just never had the money before, so they showed up in red. I need to go make a withdrawal. You probably don't realize it, but having no shoes for the past few hours would have saved me so much time. And I'd be so much further ahead already. I'm really annoyed I missed that. Pay attention to my speed before and after. This is going to be the best $10,000 I've ever spent. One pair of yeats, please. Your shoes are already on point. Gotcha. There they are. I'm not sure. Oh, I can sprint. I gotcha. What if I could have sprinted that whole time as well? Probably. That's a lot of fun. While my base speed hasn't changed at all, I can now sprint this fast. I possibly could have been sprinting before with my other shoes. Not sure if it would have made much of a difference, but I'm really mad now that I didn't look into this more. On the bright side, we're already filthy rich and getting richer every single day. This is so much faster, I can't even begin to tell you. The last 30 days just flew by and earned me over $100,000. Day 440, you know what that means? I'm a millionaire. 1,029,000 or just... 1.0 million. Oh, the interest rate went down. For a brief second, I was earning $10,000 a day. Now I guess I'm back to 5,000 because it doesn't want to give me interest. So here's what I find really interesting. I can make 1% interest on $999,915, which is about $10,000 a day. Or I can make 0.5% interest on an even 1 million, which is $5,000 a day. So obviously I would just go like this every day. Take out $100 and make double the money. The easiest $10,000 I've ever made. It's still going to give me 1%, so I'm going to see how long we can keep that 1% for. It seems like if I don't manually deposit any money into the bank, it holds its 1%. Otherwise, I've got to drop it back below a million again. Day 500. That was a lot of fun. Which means we currently have $1.8 million. And that means that we're almost there. Anyways, now that we're earning ourselves a cool $20,000 a day, even a little more, let's go see if there's anything we can actually buy. How's your money tree now, Fred? Feeling nice and rich? There's a house here still for $538,000. I don't know what the down payment has to do with anything. I'd just buy the house outright. But since I feel there's still more areas to unlock which might have bigger, better houses, I think I'm going to hold off on buying a house for right now. That one is pretty tempting. Only because it's worth as much as I make in a few short days. Portable console? I wonder what that one could be. Collection item. Okay. Uh, sure. Fun. Who's this guy? Can I buy you? Enrique. What's up? I haven't seen you since middle school. Goodbye. I did actually notice one strange thing about this pizza palace. If you come here at night, you have an option for the basement. $100. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, gambling. Not exactly sure what it is we're playing. Now I get it. My card's gonna be higher or lower than that one. I win. 20 chips. One experience point. With a max bet of only 5,000, I'm just not interested. How do I get out of here? Can I leave, please? I guess since I have a surplus of money, I can upgrade some of my skills, which will hopefully unlock new areas. Upgrading skills shouldn't be too hard at this point, considering I can just spend endlessly. I'm going to stock up on Adderall and Protein, a winning combination. That way when I do anything at all, it's supercharged. Might as well just pour the Adderall into the Protein while I'm at it. Let's see what kind of results we get today. Oh, that was quick. A little more. The best part is, even while I'm doing all this and supercharging my levels, I'm still making over $20,000 a day. And there's level 10. Wonder if we got a new area unlocked. So my options are either sell it for $115,000 or live with the debt of $105,000 and put a renter in it. Okay, rent is $200 a day, a month? I'm not really sure, but okay, great. Requires golden ticket. Unlocks at level 20. I know what level 20 is and how to get there. That was easy. Things are so easy when you're rich. Now what new fun stuff do we have to play with? Zoogle? Requires Zoogle ID. No it doesn't let me in, I'm rich. A hospital! This is the last place they want me to work. 
Level 50. Good news everyone. I wandered under the blue roof and I am actually stuck. I cannot move in any direction. We have esports betting. You can gamble up to 10 whole coins at a time, which is good because I have 880 of those, whatever they're good for. I mean, I guess if all else fails, we can make ourselves look pretty good. Finally, a house worthy of myself. 2.6 million dollars. They're getting expensive. We can even get a truck. Yep, we have a house at the garage. We still got so much stuff to do. I figured I'd be able to buy everything at this point. Well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna withdraw a little bit of money. We're up to over 3 million. Have I always had the option to work here? $50 an hour? That's not bad. 